Hey, how is everybody doing? Oh, sorry, my hair is a mess. Um, again, I'll just get that um, comb back there a bit. And uh, so, anyhow, we're live on a Joker's on duty. And Joker's on duty is actually, um, I do have a, I actually just opened up a Twitch account. And uh, not sure where to go to uh, to actually set up uh, the live stream on Twitch. Or how about how about going to set it up? Uh, if there's a link that has to be sent to me to set up the live uh, for a Twitch, but um, other than that, I'm not getting past the gaming ads or videos. So, and um, hello, how's everybody doing? And uh, so anyhow, just, so anyhow. So again, I'm sitting back trying to figure that out and see what I can figure out. Uh, probably going to take me probably a couple days or probably a couple weeks or months even before I get um, uh, get this all figured out. Uh, hopefully I get it figured out soon, but uh, if not, probably a couple months by the time I get it figured out. Um, so, uh, and that kind of stuff. And, uh, so anyhow, I can, I'll actually uh, actually show you here. So far, I'm not getting past. And oh, I gotta, I gotta actually have to uh, push it up there. So see, see there, I'm not getting past these videos. And uh, so anyhow, it is. Uh, Again, I click on them, and it's still, they just keep adding, I, like, I can add them as favorites. But other than that, uh, you know, my, again, there's, there's my, there's my profile. It does sometimes, it's always saying offline, but I uh, can't figure out how to put that online or how to, or how to set up the live, um, how to set up the, the actual, the actual live stream part of Twitch. Uh, again, I got the live stream app, chat app, but downloaded, but I can't seem to get on, uh, set up the app to go live on Twitch. So that's going to take me a while to figure that out. Um, I don't think a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people are on Twitch yet. Um, again, there's a very lot of Facebook shows that have moved over to Twitch. Um, and that, they go back and forth, but, uh... And that so so again uh, again I'm still trying to figure that out where they go to actually go to be able to go live on Twitch, um, but so yeah so so again so again like I went to subscription, I went back into abs, I went into I've confirmed my email everything else like that, uh, when I opened it up I go to uh, again channels, and and then, then there's games and then there's home everything I go into it just keeps. Uh, getting more and more game videos coming up or peop other people's game uh, live streams coming up so I don't know if somebody has to send me a link to to sign up uh, to actually to actually set up the live stream or on Twitch or if because I can't seem to find it where to go to actually set all that up um, and so far I've got the basic part like a down pat like just adding people to my list uh, like, uh, like, like the different, um, uh, like these other little abs, but, uh, music abs and the game abs. And other than that, I'm getting, so I'm getting slot machine solitaire and that kind of stuff. Um, I get more Chinese ads than anything. Um, but, uh, but again, like I, like, like I said, it's, uh, and I went to follow the uh, the actual on how to set it up on the the, the um, video they have walked through on YouTube. That is not helping any because they're talking too fast on that. Um, so again, that is going a little zit over my head here. And uh, so anyhow, it's uh, over time. I'm gonna figure it out. Um, I kind of just been kind of playing around here, uh, playing around on Twitch. So technically, <laughs> I've been, uh, you know, adding majority of these, uh, these what you call these little, these little uh, what you call little music videos and that kind of stuff as well. But uh, yeah, so 
his live stream uh, that is live and that so I had downloaded like the, the, the two apps for Twitch uh, the live stream chat and the game this is gaming so like uh, so other than that I can't seem to find out uh, where to go to actually set up the live stream to go live on Twitch so um, <laughs> other than that I'm gonna have fun fiddling with this uh, probably up until after the fair and um, So if I click on, no, no, again, I'm getting uh, the video failed to play. That was again, that was another advertisement. Oh, sorry guys, another advertisement. I let the advertisements play through, they don't help any. Um, Showing me online or offline? Okay. No, nope, it's showing me on. So, on channels. Hey, Richard, how you doing? And, um,. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Just still trying to figure out this Twitch <laughs> to set up live stream on it. Uh, I'm not sure where everybody goes for that, but uh, it's my, it seems to be more complicated than Facebook is. Um, so again, uh, I haven't even figured out Twitter yet either. Um, and that so. Phew. So basically looking at what I added and, and everything else like that. And also too, Rotary Village Fair coming up August 3rd to the 6th. And uh, so that opens up at 6 o'clock Friday, August the 3rd. Uh, we start set up this Thursday and we have two weeks to set up. So uh, that is going to be pretty cool. And, uh, and then I still can't even, uh, uh, ooh, okay, that's musically inclined. Okay, that's something new. I gotta try that out when that's done downloading. Um, can't even put a picture up on Twitch. <laughs> I can't pick my own pictures. And, uh, and that kind of stuff, too. Uh, I might actually get the, some of the computer whizzes around here, over here. Uh, I don't know if they've a, they they're on Twitch yet or not. Um, probably half a wire to don't even know what it is. <laughs> um, it is supposed to be a free site like uh, Facebook, but different, and uh, where where you can actually live stream like you can Facebook. Um, so so again, it is it, it it is kind of more musically inclined of a of a live stream app than anything. Um, so August 3rd, August 4th, August 5th and 6th, I am busy full-time volunteering at the fair. And, uh, so, so again, so it's like, so technically from the time the fair opens until late, early the next morning. Uh, till the fair, well, the fair closes at 11 at night, but again, I stay behind and uh, I change the garbage bags and everything else like that for the next day and that uh, before I come home. So it's about 2 or 3 o'clock by the time I come home in the morning. Um, I live close to the park anyways, so um, so that that is pretty pretty good where the fair is being held. So so again, like I said, that is... Um, uh, that that is okay and uh, I've already I've already wrote uh, my optimist group and told them I cannot make it uh, to to their fish to their kids fishing derby because the fair is on the same week and I'm already committed to the fair so 
Um, like, like, like I said, I can't be in two places at once. <laughs> uh, so, so again, I will be, I will not be able to help out at the Optimus for Kids Fishing Derby. Uh, I am actually going to be helping out at the Rotary Fair all week, all that weekend. So, um, so again, there is a bit of uh, guests this year that they, there's going to be, I guess they're going to, they tried to do a little bit of a confliction. It ain't working. Um, so, so again, my main high commitment uh, that weekend is the Rotary Village Fair. So that's where I, where I'm going to be all weekend is at the fair helping out. Um, because I'm running my own game booth this year too. So, um, or helping out assisting management of the game booth. So that'd be really cool. Um, getting the toys up and everything else like that for the for the kids when they're compiling in. Then there's the Sunday morning. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm just drinking pop. It's so hot out today. Um, again, there's uh, the the ki the kids zone Sunday fun day market, and um, and that, and uh, that that is actually cutting into the fair too. So, um, so 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 again, so so again, that's the, so that so the kids zone is gonna be a bigger kids zone, I guess. Uh, on a Sunday and then a Sunday night uh, that Sunday night on the 5th is fireman's volunteer fireman's dinner so and uh, the good thing is there's no dunk tank this year out of all the hottest years uh, they had to do away with the dunk tank <laughs> and um, oh I gotta shave before work tomorrow um, that's gonna be luxury and uh, Yeah, I have video cam and I have a video webcam and I have a mobile uh, mobile iPhone with a with a iPhone camera and uh, a camera um, what you call cam mobile camera in it and uh, live video stream. So for for Facebook, just tr just trying to figure out Twitch. Um, and that so so again, um, I also do have a tablet too. That does uh, that I can live stream from as well. Um, that way, I no matter what, I, I've got all I've got all these all like five like four way almost five way uh, videotaping devices um, plus my regular camcorder. So um, again, that's that's what I said. It is um, I've got an HD webcam. So. Um, so so again we've got uh we're still trying to figure out uh again this twitchy uh because relic the clown gets on there he when he comes on he's on twitch live and everybody's on twitch live and cannot figure out how they go live on twitch um so so again it seems to be more it seems to be more complicated than facebook live um so again I, it's still trying to figure out where you go to actually set up the live uh, the live live stream for twitch uh, I'm still having trouble with that, um, <laughs> but I'm eventually, like I said, I'll figure it out. Uh, again, I've got all. Again, you get all the games. Oh, go away. Uh, <laughs> Chinese ad again. I like this. Like that's all I'm getting is all game. I'm getting gaming pop up and more so than anything. Um, so so again, it is. Uh, so it is like movies, games uh abs you know more gaming like again you got movie game uh gaming uh, and that so you can add the favorites and that kind of stuff but again there is no place uh, you know it's, i still haven't figured out where you go to actually to set up uh to set up your to actually set up live live stream on twitch because you get on twitch you can live video stream and uh and that kind of stuff but i'm not sure where they go to do that and uh and that kind of stuff so there's certain i guess there's certain sections somewhere you go to set it all up um the video was talking too fast couldn't figure it out uh stuff like from hockey baseball uh, car racing um a lot of cool cool games mario kart go Wii. um
so technically to go live on um to, to go live on uh on twitch is not as easy as it is on facebook live um it is more it seems to be more complicated uh to set up than anything than facebook live is facebook live is live, very easy to set up uh compared well with twitch live it is it is uh it is a lot complicated steps to do and uh still have not figured that out and uh so so again um okay that is game development um Okay. And plus two, I get a lot, a lot of ads, and then it says turn off ads. I don't know if I'm supposed to turn off the ad, ad ads. I try to turn off the ads that don't work either. Um, so I'm not. Other than that, I am not sure where you go to actually set up your live stream for Twitch. Um, it is a good site. It is. It is operational different than Facebook does. Um, so so again. And uh, and that kind of kind of stuff, but like I said, I cannot set up my live stream for to, to go live on Twitch for some reason. It's kind of can't figure out where to go to do that. Um, like Facebook, it was a lot easier to set up than uh, for live stream than what Twitch is. Um, same with YouTube Live. That was that was a lot a lot more more easier. Twitch for some reason, Twitch and Twitter are actually seems to be be more complicated. Um, to set up to go live on for your live stream so so once I figure out how to go live on twitch uh, there will be jokers on duty on twitch um, so someone will go back and forth um, And also too with the fair this year, I guess the Hammer Slammer is uh, is going to be is is not going to be running on August the fifth. So I guess it'll be taken down before the last night of the fair. So so again, I'll be be with like the dock, the ninety three point three the dock radio station, which is Owen Sound here, uh, which is not far from Wyerton here. Uh, Wyerton doesn't have a radio station. Uh, everything is done from Owen Sound, uh, so in Port Owen. So all our basically our radio station media is out of Owen Sound. So like 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 the Mix One Hundred Six, uh, the Doc Ninety Three Point Three, uh, Ninety Three Point Three the Doc, uh, and that kind of stuff is all in Owen Sound. So sorry, Wyerton stuck with Jokers on duty. <laughs> Temporarily, um, it's just Wyerton itself does not have an actual radio station. Um, everything is done out of one. All all the main big radio stations like ninety three point three, the Dark, and uh, the the uh, what you call the um, uh, uh, Bruce Bruce Bay co uh, Broadcasting, whatever they call themselves, is um, is all out of one sound and Tobin Morris. So. All out of Owen Sound and more so Owen Sound and anything, and um, and that so so nothing quite right in Wyerton. Um, Friday, ooh, Friday the Thirteenth game. But that's probably just a walkthrough. Hmm. And again, it is. I've always wanted to play that game. I've got to buy it for PS3. I don't even know if it's on PS3 or not. Uh, it is. Uh, it's called Friday the Thirteenth video game. Anybody played it? Uh, I don't. I don't. Know. I think you have to order it from Amazon. I don't know if you can get it for PS3 yet or not. Um, it looks like it's new, uh, and that. So I don't know. It looks like it does. For, to me, it looks like it's it's new. But again, it's for so far. It's for Xbox One. In PS4, but I don't know if it's ever hit for PS3 yet or not. I gotta check that out in Indian Games, and 
Oh, it's only online. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks, Richard. It's... Uh, oh, Joe. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Joe Cowboy, I didn't see you sneak in there. Uh, yeah, okay. So, it is, it's only online. Okay. So... Yeah, so I guess it's only online, guys. Um, so, so again, uh, I wonder how much... I wonder how much crap I've got to add to my Twitch list before I can open up my live video stream. <laughs> go before I can go live on Twitch. I uh, set up my live Twitch to uh, unlock uh, Twitch to unlock the uh, live stream part because I still can't unlock lock the live stream here. Um, I figure out how to set up live stream on Twitch. Um, it is like like completely uh, completely complicated. Um, I want to see what that actually what that actually looks like online. Uh, oh, another ad. Ad. Uh, Friday the thirteenth. Um, um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I might have to download that if I can. I don't know. I might have to buy it online. I might actually have to pay for it to download it. Um, it looks good. Uh, I'll be an idiot and add it to my uh, list. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, I'm doing well, and uh, and Fran's doing well too, and that that, that kind of thing. And uh, we're just getting ready for for the Rotary Village Fair coming up. Uh, the third week, uh, Friday, uh, Friday, August third to the sixth, and what kind of thing. So that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a fun weekend. Uh, free admission into the park. You just pay have to pay to get on the rides and play the games, and that kind of stuff, and uh, the greasy street food that they sell. <laughs> um, if you like anything like me, you break out with zits still, and I'm all, I'm 37 going on 38, and I still break out with zits like a teenager. <laughs> um. But, uh, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, so, so, again, just, just checking that out. That, that actually seems to be looking good there. Uh, being a little looking like a good game. And, uh, so, anyhow, I'm playing, uh, still playing around on Twitch here, trying to figure out, uh, still trying to figure out where to, where to, where you go to set up your live stream for that. Um, a lot of people don't do the live streams like I do. Um, but they, they are available, like, like the live stream on Facebook is, is available to anybody that has a Facebook account. Um, and that, uh, same with Twitch, once you have a Twitch account and that kind of thing, there, there is steps you can take to, to set up your live stream, but again, it is more complicated, I guess, on Twitch than it is, uh, than it is on YouTube and, uh, YouTube Live and Facebook Live. Twitch Live is more complicated. <laughs> um... And that so, but not all the clown shows have new problems going live on Twitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, uh, that was a bit of some sense of humor there for yeah, for a bit. And uh, so also too after and also too at the fair, I'm gonna try to go live as as much as I can. Uh, again, with certain times where we, we, we won't be as busy, and it looks like, it looks like the Saturday we're really not going to be busy because we'll be losing a lot of kids to the fishing derby for that hour. Um, so, so again, we'll probably have, uh, we'll probably, uh, at the fair, we'll probably have like a kind of a quiet, uh, a good time to go live, uh, because the, the, there will be, uh, you know there'll be there'll be no kids around playing the games because they'll all be out at the fishing the kids fishing derby at the sportsman club and then 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 at four o'clock they'll all be piling in at the fair um so so again like i said that that'll be uh that'll be good uh so so again um like i said that that is going to uh, that is going to be quite interesting. So we're going to have a bit of a... Hopefully we're not too busy. We may be busy. We may not be busy. Don't know yet because usually usually about about that time 
on the Saturday on the fair weekend we always we have always have what you call a dead downtime for a bit then it picks up again after supper so uh so so again then we get really busy and then we have to open up uh we actually have to open up all all three sides of the game booth tent uh so we have to open up all three sides of the flaps so we got all three birthday we got all three game boards going <coughs> at the same time because we get big 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 crowds um I'm smart because I'm taking my lawn chair that I went and bought a lawn chair that I'm taking this year so I can sit down uh, if I do get time to sit down. Most times we don't uh, get time to sit down, uh, but uh, again, at least I at least don't have my lawn chair there. So something comfortable to sit down um, and that. So again, it is the fair is uh, actually the park is actually equipped with hydro. So any service club that rents the park here uh, actually has to pay for two pavilions. Two, they have to pay the rental fee for the two pavilions, and uh, and also to the cost of the hydro. So they got to rent rent the pavilion. They rent the park, the the two pavilions, and they have to rent the hydro service from the town. So. Um, to, to run the events, whatever event they're having here. So again, like I said, it's uh, no matter if it's a wedding event or whatever, it's it's event or whatever, wedding reception. If it's an outdoor wedding reception or outdoor wedding, whatever, or if it's like like the Rotary Village Fair Canada Day. Again, uh, whoever rents the park for to run those events permits, they gotta pay for the they gotta pay they gotta pay for the rental per they gotta pay for the the, the permit to be there. Uh, to have the event going, um, and then then they gotta pay for every little thing <laughs> to run the event. So it does cost a lot of money to put the event on, um, and that and that kind of thing. So like Rotary Fair, they 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 pay for their Nevada license, they pay for their their bingo gambling license and uh, Dream Draw lottery license, and uh, the rental of the park. Uh, they pay for the the two pavilions plus they pay for the hydro and the garbage removal so they pay for they pay for everything and plus they also pay for the Coney's the Coney Midway line to come in so again they gotta make sure the the Coney Midway operators get paid so I mean it is uh, it's a lot of these service clubs put out a lot of money to run these events and yeah, they're not cheap. <laughs> um, July the first, when Optimus does the Canada Day, they pay for the two pavilions. They pay for they have to pay for the two two pavilions plus the hydro, plus the rental of the the actual band beer tent. Plus they have to pay for their liquor license, uh, event permit liquor license to to sell alcohol at the event and that kind of stuff. Then they pay for the fireworks, pay for the bands. They have to pay the McLaren's pipe band, parade procession. Uh, and that kind of thing. So they pay. They're paying for every little thing. Uh, so whoever has an event down at Blue Water Park, or whatever group has event, or whoever has a pen, uh, has event there in the summertime or whatever, in the nice weather, they got paid for everything. Um, puts a hole in their pocket. <laughs> um, just to entertain the tourist and the public. Uh, <laughs> but that is okay. We're used to it. Um, so that, that's, 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 that's what I said. So it, it's a lot of heavy shoes and costs to fill and, uh, and that kind of, kind of stuff. And also too, I, I, of course, and then, then, then they got to go out of the way to get the volunteers and everything else like that. So, um, and then, then too, also too, there's every day in the summer is the kids Sunday fun day market. Uh, so again, that is, that place is always, Blue Water Park also along is always busy. Uh, it never fails. Uh, there's always something going on in the summertime or at night, Wednesday nights is a car, classic car show. So, like I said, there's always, uh, all summer long, there's always something, uh, up till October, November, there's always something going on. And then, then uh, everything doesn't pick up again until February 2nd, which is Groundhog Day Festival weekend here in Wyerton. So that's when Mr. Peaky in the Cage comes out and dictates the weather and tells us it's going to be early spring or another 10 more weeks now of winter. Uh, we can't say six more weeks anymore because uh, if you predict six weeks, we get 10 weeks of more of winter. Uh, it never fails. Um, so, so again, like I said, that is, uh, 
that is that that that's, that place is always up and jumping. Um, for a bit there, last few summers before they brought the 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 uh, Sunday fun uh, fun day back uh, for the kids and that kind of thing. There was a n not in nim not. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, I can't pronounce the word. It is what you call in amical. Yeah, it's calling it, it's calling what you call an im and tongue twister. In medical, uh, not not medical. Uh, in nemical, uh, nomical, nomical, nemical, whatever they call it, uh, whatever they call it, nemical, nomical. Uh, church services where well, every church in town has like a barbecue picnic and they have one big church service at the park. And uh, on a on a on a Sunday morning in the summertime, usually usually before or after Canada Day, before the fair rolls in. Um, but now with the Sunday fun day, there they they canceled out this year. Um, but normally they, they 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 have that they have one Sunday dedicated for that, which is led up by the Salvation Army, and then it's led up by by different churches that all come together, and it's one big big one big nomical church service. So every church in town is there and their dog. <laughs> uh, so um, that is that is quite 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 interesting. Uh, but it's surprisingly they actually did away they they had to cancel that this year because of the the, the um with the uh, with the uh with the kids Sunday fun day market day they brought back every Sunday is big market farmers market day and everything else like that and kids fun day uh September is the fall fair uh that is like farm tools and farm animals that don't interest nobody that one there they do have to pay to get into the park uh with the September October one. Uh, that is, but again, there's no rides. Uh, there's no midway for that one. The midway only comes in in like August third, around August, which is the August third weekend that's coming up, uh, which is a civic big civic holiday weekend. That's the only one we get the midway for. Um, so, so again, that is that is the only one one we hired to book, book book the magical midway for, and that with the rides and everything. And uh, out of it being so hot this summer, no dunk tank. That is a shame too, because I always love sitting on, on the dunk tank and being dunked in. Um, so, so again, if you guys want to see me being dunked in the dunk tank, uh, I do have like uh, videos from 2015 where I've got a black wig on and a band, red bandana, pink shirt, pink shorts, and I'm actually being dunked in the dunk tank. So uh, that was that was that was the big rotary fair in August of 2015. Uh, the civic holiday weekend so so again if you guys want a good live go check that out um other than that i'm gonna close out of twitch because i'm not getting anywhere with twitch live right now uh again like i said i i can't seem to uh i can't seem to 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 set up my live stream for that yet uh it is uh, it is it is kind of kind of hard to find on there uh, eventually, I will figure it out. It's gonna take me some time. I might have to bring. I might actually have to bring in a local computer whiz that knows about this stuff, and uh, and that. So again, again, I'll go over to Facebook here, and uh, again, we're gonna. I guess my efforts is gonna be late tonight too, guys. To um, there's a lot of uh, they're having they're updating a lot of stuff again. Uh, so again, a lot of their television cameras and that are being updated, and uh, computer cameras are being updated. So again, uh, like I said, MFers Live is going to be late tonight. I guess they're going to be really late, late, late tonight. It's already nine thirty past their time. So if they don't get anything up running until like closely ten thirty, eleven o'clock, they're going to be a very late show tonight. Uh, so, so again, those that do like following him uh, just, just, just let you know that they're going to be, Michael Klotz is going to be on late tonight. Uh, late, late than ever it looks like. Uh, so, so again, if, whenever, ever they get their, tel uh, whenever they get their television cameras up and, uh, up and going and updated, uh, and the computer cameras up and going, uh, like, like I said, Joke is on duty here starting to, uh, actually starting to bring in television cameras. And uh, oh, my hair sticking out. So again, we're slowly starting to build from grounds. Well, we can't say grounds <laughs> uh, from bottom up. And uh, so again, we're 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 kind of slowly um, putting in television cameras and that kind of stuff too in this little area. 
um, because we cannot, uh, we cannot, uh, cannot overlook them in the bedrooms, about anywhere, anywhere where there's people sleep, or um, unless unless nobody's home, uh, they have to be portable. So so again, again, my laptop is portable. So if I move around the house, I move around the house with my or my my place with my laptop or my mobile phone. Um, like 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 I said, so the actual main television cameras and speakers, if they come in, it's gonna be in this closed in studio room uh, where I've got my table and couch where I sit and that where my TV is. So again, it's all gonna be it is all gonna be crammed into this little room. Um, hopefully by then, I probably may be looking at getting a smaller something. Well, not 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 something as big as this. Probably I'm thinking about getting down, go down to a wooden table because this is glass, by the way, guys. Um, I'm kind of iffy with glass. Uh, temporarily, I'm using a glass table because it's big enough. Because a little tiny table was too small. Uh, so I'm getting. I'm thinking about actually gradually getting an actual big size computer desk if I can uh, so so again I got a big I can actually set up my own computer desk guys uh, so so that way it is I, I can actually set my cameras up and get the actual nice light up speakers for you guys to, uh, to when we go live and on, on Facebook so like I, like, like like I said I'm finally getting rid of this glass table because I'm I, I have a thing I have a big issue with glass tables because like I said I'm surprised this glass table lasts as long as it did around here around here because a lot of glass tables uh, even my wedding night glass tables didn't last long uh, <laughs> um, so so again like I said uh, I, I either get too drunk and fall for them or if I, if I have a good part, if I if I'm throwing like if I'm doing, like if I'm having a good time, having a social drink or whatever, and uh, you know, sitting around a glass table, uh, you know, after you had like five or six beers in, in you, and you go to, you know, you get up to walk to the bathroom, you accidentally fall, you fall through a glass table quicker, and break the table, uh, than anything. Uh, again, I had a glass coffee table. And uh, my wedding, what was it? My wedding night when I when I got married and that that kind of thing. We were having a good time, uh, and that kind of thing. And my wife and I, and uh, I I had a little too much to drink, and uh, I fell I fell face first through the through through the glass coffee table. <laughs> so like I said, me and glass we don't get along. Uh, like I said said I'm always I'm always falling on my toes or falling on my face or something. Um, this is why I said I do want to get away from this glass top table as much as possible. I may actually give this glass table away. It's in good shape. Uh, but after I get a, I'm hopefully get an actual good size wooden computer desk again or whatever. Uh, that's got the nice cupboards in it so I can put, I, I can actually put the games in. And it's got, got the big space so I can put the laptop computer in there. And I can set up my mobile phone on there as well. And uh, so, so again, that way I'll be able to bring that in and get a good price on one of those. And I get that set up as my studio. Uh, so that way I can make more room, totally, I, I can get rid of this glass top table and actually make room in here. Um, so that way we can actually live rotate cameras so that way we can pick up the live stream on, but over where the couch is. If, so, if we got company that's on uh guests that have come to come on live stream and that so that way they're not tripping on the table coming into the studio so again it is we're, we're just uh, we're just trying to make it kind of a walk space because it's kind of a tiny area right now so that's why i don't have a lot of, bring a lot of guests on like i'm not like in mfers where they bring guests in uh technically i'm not ready to bring a bunch of guests in on live because they, they don't have the space to accommodate them right now uh in here on the couch wires and that kind of thing because it'd be too much of a tight squeeze so if i get a co actual size computer desk um that i can actually set up on and that so there would be an actual cool there is actually good uh walking space and i'm not tripping on cords and everything and uh, falling on my face and uh, my cat is not ripping down my lights because i spent five hours putting them up and uh it looks like the cat's already pulling them out of the wall and uh I gotta reinforce. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta re-put those up. Well, not re-put them up, but I. I, I gotta. Gotta put a. Put a put a new nail up there to to hold them up. Cause uh, again, he's loosened some of the nails, and I gotta t make sure they're tight and to keep the Christmas lights up. Um. So again, I'm gonna. Again, I gotta have to put on the good old. Uh, uh, 
crank up the good old rock and roll music so that way I can I can fix those lights and uh, put fresh uh, put put fresh nails on them to hold them up uh, and that kind of thing and hopefully a tree you stays down and leave my lights alone <laughs> uh, get his little four paws up there um, he he likes to play with stuff he anything anything that 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 is bright and shiny he'll play with. Um, and that kind of kind of stuff. So uh, he's he's he he likes that. He he li he's a bit of a tormentor and instigator. That little guy is. He's still a, he's only still a cat. Well, he's a child. Well, he's he's not a kitten. He's not full grown. Uh, he's he's still a child. So again, he's uh, he's not a he's not full grown because most full grown cats by the time they get to be full grown, uh, an actual cat when he gets into the senior years will actually lay around and do nothing. And um, and that 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 kind of thing, the the, the the playful end of them come out of them, and the instincts come out of them, and that they just lounge around like a like 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 lawn ornaments, um, and the, and that uh, anybody who's ever had a full grown cat, um, but no, not not my little guy. He's still he's still a child. He's still he's still a baby. So he's again he's uh he's still hyper and playful. Um so if he's still in his hyper stage and playful stage, he's still a kitten. Well he's 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 not he's between a kitten and a child cat type cat. Uh but again he's not quite a teenager yet. Um <laughs> so he's still youngy. He's still a baby boy. Um so he's a hyper little guy. Uh, so as long as he's still hyper, you know when they're full grown adult cats, they they stop being hyper, they stop being playful, and uh, all they want to do is lounge around the house and do nothing, and get fat. <laughs> um, you know how cats are. Not this guy, he hyper. Um, he hyper little boy, and he's good weight too. Um, so so again and he eats well he eats healthy he eats well um so like i said he eats better than i do <laughs> um but yeah so um so again that that is uh, that's some of the updates there and um i, don't know, I can't pronounce that name there i watch i was watching a lot of the live streams where they're showing you how to apply makeup um I may actually be thinking about doing makeup on here too myself. Uh, no, not ladies' makeup. That is only if I'm doing like like comedy karaoke or something like that, um, or lip singing or something comical, or if I'm in a comical mood or whatever. But no, I'm talking about clown makeup or something like that. Um, again, I gotta buy the supplies for that, and um, so so that way. And that so, um, so so yeah. So I, again, I'm just taking lessons on how you actually how they actually apply the the clown makeup because uh, my wife does not know how to apply makeup. Uh, she does not have good artistry skills for that, and I don't even know how to put on Halloween makeup. Um, so we're the blind leading the blind. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, so again, like, 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 like I said, so I, again, that's another thing that, that I'm going, and, um, another thing that I'm going to figure out, and, um, so anyhow, just, just, just checking out, uh, and, uh, checking out. And um, just just kind 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 of checking out different different live streamers and how they do their makeup and everything else like that, um, and that. So again, like I said, all my live videos now do now do. Uh, I found I I figured I figured out how to uh, how to upload them to YouTube. So again, they will they will air on YouTube as well. Uh, some of the videos so far that I put up on YouTube are old videos from last year and years before, uh, probably, from, yeah, from last year 
2017 and some of them were also old too. Um, way back to 2010. And um, and that so um, so so again that's uh, losing my train of thought. <laughs> and uh, so those are some of the updates. And uh, Halloween guys, uh, we are, I am thinking about. I am probably going to do up the dummies again for Halloween. Uh, depending on the weather, uh, if the weather if the weather holds out uh, and the weather is nice here, usually about October, we don't know what the weather is doing. Uh, Halloween it could be rain and snow and whatever. Um, if it's a, if it's like the last few years of Halloween night is so nice out, uh, then we'll go for the Halloween walk and we'll live stream all the haunted houses that are all decorated up and that. And uh, so I'll take you live down down the different streets and show you all the, all the lineup houses and everything else like that, and uh, people running their different haunted houses and that kind of stuff. So that that'd be kind of kind of some, some cool stuff. If the weather holds out, if the weather is bad, then we convert we are gonna converse into um, what you call kind of a spooky Halloween night here, uh, pre-recorded Halloween night on YouTube Live, and uh, or either YouTube Live or pre-record on YouTube and then upload uh, to YouTube. So. Um, so so again we we, we will uh, be doing those little little Halloween clips too and then there's also October 30th I do know that there is not going to be um, there there is not going to be not that I'm not that I can remember or check my calendar uh, that there's going to be a Friday uh, the 13th of October is gonna fall on Friday this year like it did most years um, It'd be great if it does, but uh, I don't think we have another one now for a couple months. So uh, again, um, or probably even a couple, uh, either a couple months or years, or halfway through the year. So, um, like, like 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 I said, it depends on how the calendar falls too. And uh, so again, uh, so we so again, uh, so close to the Halloween, we just got the thirtieth and uh, the thirty first. And then uh, Halloween, uh, then uh, October the sixth is, is going to be uh, pre-recorded uh, birthday lip sync. So uh, that is going to be going on YouTube. So again, there will be uh, there will be the the will we'll be uh, will be be pre-recording that as well. And uh, so that be be a bit of a be a bit of uh, what you call a bit of a party there. Uh, I'm pre-recording pre-recording video up to YouTube so um, so so th those are some of the updates for that and then Thanksgiving there's Jokers on Duty is going to be on a break uh, with it being Thanksgiving and that kind of thing on Thanksgiving weekend so uh, like the Monday uh, the Thanksgiving Monday or whatever day it falls on um, so so again I just wanted to keep you updated on that and uh, we still haven't been able to uh, what you call uh, be able to what you call uh, showcase movies like some of the other live streamers can. Uh, we're still trying to figure out how they how they go about doing that. Uh, again, uh, without being intercepted by any copyright noticing. Uh, so so again, until we figure that out, we can we we have to hold off our movie nights for you. I would have loved to do live movie nights on here for you. Um, and or, and that kind of, kind of, kind of stuff and find out uh, where they or how they're doing it and how they're how they're not getting intercepted by 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 any internet security company. <laughs> um, so so again um, so so again how they're not hitting the hitting the copyright and uh, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, but and like I said. Um, that that's why I said right now these shows Jokers on Duties we cannot showcase movies um, as much as I love to <laughs> um, we take we we end up taking a risk of getting copyright notices from from Facebook itself um, I know people can do it uh, can can pre-record it to YouTube 
and uh, considering that they that YouTube will let it through considering if it is uh, if it is blogged uh, so so again um, it, 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 or there's some type of some type of blog they use or whatever to frame it to frame around it so again uh, so that way it comes across to be different uh, just like Queen of Icha, uh, a really funny guy uh, the reason why his stuff goes through Facebook is because yes he does showcase the Disney cartoons but he turns the volume down probably on his on, on the cartoons and he lets his voice take over the characters so he skits on a microphone and he's in the background uh, making the character swear and curse or do different things uh, say different things so so he makes it different and comical uh, so so again he he does he does it in a different format so it doesn't hit copyright so it, it goes through as being something new and, di and different uh, so which is technically he's created his own blog um, for that so so again that is that is I even watched some of them I, I added them to my uh, to to my um, uh, to my Facebook I thought it, I thought it was really funny um, there was one video I thought was cute. Uh, it was was a little from the Little Mermaid, uh, which they changed the song. Uh, what was it? Either uh, Down Under the Sea or uh, Kiss the Girl or whatever. But uh, he changed it. Uh, he, he again he turned off the volume. He he did he rewrote the words everything to it, and uh, he actually made up his own words to it. And uh, he's totally changed all the words to it, and uh, changed it to your man's cheap or whatever, something, something, something like that, uh, with the little lobsters going across the screen. I had to share that video. I thought it was cute. I thought it was funny. Um, I thought it was funny. It's crazy. Um, I got a good laugh out of it. That made me laugh, uh, especially, especially his, especially, uh, especially when he showcases Cinderella. I mean, I'm telling you, Cinderella. I mean, you, you I know, I know. Um, Disney's made a few mistakes in the original scripts, uh, but not that bad of a mistake. Uh, so you know that it's not Disney doing that. Um, they wouldn't be that bad in a kids' cartoon. Uh, but again, this guy, he, he, uh, again, he's, 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 he's. He's turned off the volume, and uh, he's you know he's 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 showcasing the cartoons, and uh, so as the cartoon is playing, he's getting on a microphone and he's swearing and cursing on the microphone, and so it, so it sounds like when he's live streaming, it sounds like when he's when he's live streaming the cartoon, it sounds like 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 it's coming from the cartoon characters, <laughs> the Cinderella characters, like the, the evil stepmother and the evil stepsisters. Ah uh, man, I wish I wish I was. Uh, that gutsy on Facebook to do something like that, um, but you got to be careful too because there is a you know there is a, there is a thing there is a, too much of that it, it is funny but too much of that uh, Facebook after a while will pick up on that and you got to be careful because Facebook will actually try to uh, will try to just will actually try to kick you out <laughs> uh, or, or boot you out. Um, so so again like i said he's he's a, he's a risk taker he's funny he's a good guy he's a risk taker but he's funny uh but 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 again he but but the point is he's as long as he's getting the likes um like i said as long as he's getting 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 the the, the, the facebook uh reactions and likes uh it is making it is is making his frequent stronger so so every time you guys like or share the the videos uh and comment and reactions it makes the it makes the videos a lot strong it makes the facebook strong uh, facebook show uh, facebook videos a lot stronger um so so again it is uh it, it keeps it keep, keep it keep, keep keeps the frequency out going and the, and that kind of thing or the energy of it going and flow of it um so it strengthens the video. It strengthens the frequency. I didn't know that. Um, but uh, yeah, so so again, uh, so once, like I said, once I figure out how to go live on Twitch, we will be going live on Twitch. Uh, right now, I cannot figure out how to set up my live stream on Twitch because it's getting too compl it is too complicated. I'm new to Twitch. 
Uh, again, I've got the app downloaded and that kind of stuff, but I do not know how to set up the live stream end of it. Um, apparently, it seems to be more complicated than what people say it is. <laughs> uh, it's not as easy as Facebook is uh, or, or YouTube Live is. Uh, Twitch just seems to be more complicated. More, more, more is more complicated than anything to to set up the live stream. Um, and that, so I don't know if somebody has to actually send me a live, have to send me the link to go live or whatever, uh, or, or I don't. Other than that, I don't know where to go to actually, actually uh, when I get on my Twitch account, where to go to actually, uh, to actually set up my live stream, my live Twitch, my live Twitch stream. Uh, so, so again, I get, again, I get in all the. Um, I, I am getting all the game video, uh, getting all the video games, I'm getting all the slot machines games, I'm getting all those on there coming through. Uh, advertisements, but uh, playing through the advertisements, but it seems that that's all it's doing. Um, it is, uh, hey Jen, how you doing? And uh, Jeff, <laughs> Cookie, <laughs> I just noticed you coming in. Um, so, so again, uh, yeah, we're just, 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 uh, just getting that all, getting that site all figured out. And, uh, but again, like I said, the good part of it is, uh, so far I'm only, uh, only, I'm only figured out how to add the, um, the abs to, to my list. Um, but, um, the favorites to my list, but, uh, again, again, you get the gaming videos and that's all you're getting. Uh, that's all I'm picking up is the gaming videos, or I'm just picking up the uh, the, the little music videos or whatever, uh, or other people's live streams. But uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know where to go to set up the actual live stream on Twitch. Um, but again, like I said, I've got my account registered and set up. So um, that is <laughs> that is quite interesting. Um, Be telling people I don't need an army full of people in my home. <laughs> Steepers, man, it's like friggin' Grand Central fucking station here. <laughs> Everybody, my brother-in-law comes into town. My wife has to go tell the whole friggin' town, and then they all show up at my door. Uh, just cause he's here. Uh, <laughs> like man, <laughs> talk about. Oh man. This place gets full of the Salvation Army. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just bit of a sense of humor there, guys. Um, so, so again, I still want to figure. I still want to figure out the figure out the Twitch. And uh, so, those that are following him after his live again, sorry that they they're running late. Uh, again, he just did a he just did an update video. Michael Claude stayed from golf. And having a computer, cam television camera, def difficulties. Um, so they have to update everything. Uh, I don't have the actual television cameras in yet. Um, and I, I'm working on it slowly. So over the next few years, I might slowly, bit by bit. Uh, building up slowly, bit by bit, and that kind of stuff. So right now, I'm just working off my off my laptop and my mobile phone. Um, pretty soon, this room is actually going to be so dolled out. It won't be funny. It'll be again. It'll be it'll be like 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 there'll be there'll be like speakers in here, and there'll be surround sound, and uh, there'll probably be um, the the there'll probably be actually be an actual be an actual tele in the corners there will actually be actual television cameras so um so so again and slowly working on that bit by bit um or i may just i, I may just end up staying with uh, also to might uh, might just keep on a laptop um what i mean by television cameras over time uh, i'm going to add another computer i'm slowly going to add a desktop so again um I'm gonna get rid of this glass table, eventually, and uh, bring in like a one of those uh, wooden wooden computer desks, so I can actually set up my laptop and my mobile. I get another another wooden table in here, kind of kind of make walking space in here, so that way uh, I can slowly build up a desktop computer. Um, 
as well. So so again, uh, so again, all this room is going to be this is all this room is all going to be used for is video equipment, video camera equipment. Um, so again, probably uh, like I said, there's, I got my headset. It's it, it's on some shows. Uh, like I said, this curtain behind me is uh, is is gonna be cool because the 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 curtain still gonna be behind me. Or um, if I know if I had a bigger play, if if we had a, a bigger area, uh, I probably would actually put up a build my own what you call a indoor stage with curtains. So we would actually build a Joker's on duty stage, and no, we're not going. We're not going to become another Jerry Springer show. So nobody ask. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. Uh, my wife watches enough of that as is. I don't think I could handle. I don't. I don't. I don't think if Joker's on duty ever went that high, uh, in that high in live stream or on live stream, I don't think I could actually handle. Um, handle like 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 another Jerry Springer talk show <laughs> I think that'd be I think that'd be a totally uh, out of the question here um, because there'd be there'd, there'd be way too too many hooting all and yelling live on here I hear enough of it on, on my wife's television uh, all night long so I don't, don't need to <laughs> do it live on Facebook um, or Twitch, if I never get Twitch figured live figured out, um, or Twitter or whatever. Um, but yeah, but it'd be funny because, it, like, 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 like that'd be funny if Joker's on duty ever did go that big. I'm not saying we're going to, but if we ever did go that big as high as another Jerry Springer show, I think the first person I would put on, 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 uh, on this type of. Uh, on that that type of a talk show, a hoot and hollering type show would be Donald Trump. <laughs> Get all the politicians together and let them go at it. Uh, uh, man, that'd be that'd be no. Nah, that's what you call live entertainment. Um, everybody be loving. Everybody be loving Facebook big time for that. Uh, you imagine how many followers I would have live on here. Probably over sixteen thousand followers or more worldwide. Uh, they would love to see that day come. Uh, but no, I don't. I think I think we'll save we'll save that hassle for Jerry Springer or uh, for that other hippie dude. Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, uh, what's that other guy's name? Murray Povich and uh, Steve Wilkos can deal with those assholes. <laughs> no offense. Um, that. That's what I said. That that's that's. There's more bigger, stronger. They can handle those idiots. I if we ever went that big, I don't think I'd go that high with those clowns. Uh, I think sorry the path to put it that way. I think that they would actually be uh, too hard to handle for this type of a show. Um, that's why I said I'm not. I hope we never ever go that big, <laughs> or, or get that opportunity to go that big. Um, so so again again because the wyoton here is so drama festivity 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 as well as as well as all uh as totally drama and festated already um half half the characters i know around here anyways are all dramatic <laughs> um but that is okay um so so again like i said we we we, we don't want to go and encourage that big big direction because then I that then I will have my hands full and I won't have time for anything else um, but but again uh, but a lot of, a lot a lot a lot of people like those kind of shows though funny uh, yeah because they do draw a lot of people uh, I mean a lot, a lot of people love watching that kind of stuff and uh, you know or you know and to them it's one big soap opera and uh, they get a, these shows would probably go up big time uh, you know, Joker's if Joker's on duty ever did go that big, uh, I cannot I cannot see myself going that big. But if we ever did go that big, uh, I th I I think I think 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 the actual followers would gain too many followers, and we'd probably get like 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 probably fifteen billion or fifteen thousand followers worldwide alone, um, or more. Um, because people just sit back and they 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 they. they they love the entertainment, like soap operaish entertainment, like that. 
uh, again, it, it, it kind of draws them. Why do you think draws them to television to begin with? Um, that's that's probably why cable and satellites gotten so cheap in channels. <laughs> um, it's be just because of those main shows. Um, again, and they're making all the money off those shows alone. But yeah, so so again, uh, again, we're kind of only on the one mobile and that that, that 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 kind of thing. But yes, if I if I had the room, I probably get a bit. I probably would actually would actually arrange stuff around here and actually build an indoor stage in here, um, platform stage and with curtains and that. Um, so so with the with the with the with the with the, with the uh, curtain chamois in behind. Uh, old DTV, um, but yeah. So so again, also too, guys. Old DTV is pretty good. Uh, so same with Spiritual Hunters. But yeah. So again, I'm first is going to be uh, be late tonight. But yeah, uh, like 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 I said, if anything, I'd give him first that hassle quicker than anyone else because uh, they've got a stronger crew. Um, they have a they they have a full uh again they 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 have a full they have an actual full mf first team uh enough enough to actually fulfill a, a security department uh because their security department is sdk entertainment so uh that provides all the entertainment for like the rappers and that kind of stuff and uh, so, so their main security. And so again, SDK Entertainment uh, actually hires their own security team. So anytime a celebrity comes to town, a rapper comes to, to town, and they have to, it's a red carpet event or whatever, and they have to hire security. They actually, SDK Entertainment hires their own security team and everything. Um, so and that kind of, kind of stuff. So which is what kind of, kind of, kind of cool. Uh, Joker's on duty has never gone that that technical. Um, we love to go if we had a big enough crew, uh, like MFers did, and we had a, we had enough we had enough enough people uh, to actually, and we had the right guys and that kind of thing to form our own private security team. Then yes, I could see myself uh, going 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 as big as as those, some of those wild talk shows and that kind of stuff like that. Um, kind of having the right security you kind of have to have the right security team too uh to actually to be able to back you up to protect you uh so that means you actually have to have the bodyguards you have to have everything um you have to have the actual full hired security trained team everything so um if you ever get to a point you actually have to remove somebody off the stage uh by with uh with 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 uh, so you got to make sure you've got all the backup. You make sure you got the security backup, and you also with those kind of shows, uh, if Joker's on duty, yeah, we wouldn't be able to call ourselves Joker's on duty. We definitely had to change our name permanently if we had if we went that way. I uh, went to a big talk show like that, um, and plus you'd actually have to make sure that you uh, with those kind of talk shows too that you have you have actual um, undercover detectives on your show and on your team backing and uh, protecting you as well. Uh, when you're dealing, when you're running those kind of shows, like that's that's how big guys like Jerry Springer is and Steve Wilkos, all them guys, is because they've got all the they they've got all the they've they've they started off small like MFers did or like we did. Um, like I said, well, I'm never gonna go that big. I don't wish to. Um, I just hope we don't ever. Um, but if opportunity came knocking. Uh, and uh, that kind of thing, and we did, and we ended up by accident. Did um, then, then you gotta, you, then, then we gotta make sure we got all, we've got all the proper, proper team together. Like we have all the, like have all the proper security team hired. Uh, you know, working, working with everybody. Uh, so people are gonna work with everybody. Have all the big, uh, have all the big time security. Make sure you have a full security team. Uh, proper trained security, and then you have your television crew, uh, which is you know which is which is the one that's running the show, and uh, which you know if we, you know somebody like me that's the host. Uh, I'm just using that as an example. Uh, that's why I said I don't ever wish our shows to go that big or out of out of proportion or wild. Um, but if it does by accident, you know uh, we can't help that. 
uh, because like 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 I said, it gains the followers. But then they have to also make sure that also on those shows you got the full proper security. You have the full team that's gonna that's gonna work with you, and uh, also too that you have detectives on that show, undercover detectives and arcs on that show. So uh, if you ever have to remove any of those people. Uh, by a chance because they get too wild or they get way overboard or they get too too violent or they get to the hitting point uh, to break up fights and that kind of stuff. That's why I said those 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 shows. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of heavy tension in those. Uh, so that's why I said those big guys they they they've got they they've got all the whole work. They have the whole proper team behind them. Uh, it's not one guy running the whole show. Uh, again, they've got all their security team on board. They've got, you know, they've got, they, they've got a full crew. They have a full television director crew and staff. Um, so, so again, like I said, that is, that is, uh, you know, that's why I said I hope the, I hope we stay Jokers as on, on duty, but we don't ever get nominated to go that high. Um, Yes, there's good money involved in that, but I would never ever be after the money. Like I just, I, I'm just, just, just type of person. I just love to uh, get on and just, just uh, have a bit of a social and uh, volunteer to run a comedy show, uh, <laughs> not a soap opera show. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Um, or, or one of those those dramatic shows like that. That now that's a hundred percent hardcore drama right there. Uh, <laughs> um, but you guys, like I said, it, it, it funny thing is one of those things that entertains people and people I like to love it. But uh, yeah, so so yeah, so I don't ever see ourselves going that way. But. Uh, like I said, you never know. Like sometimes, like shows grow, and uh, like a bad weed, <laughs> and then you get stuck with the bad weeds, and uh, <laughs> to deal with the bad weeds. Um, so, so again, that, that's 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 that uh, uh, that's what I said. So, so again, like I said, it's uh, I, we just want to stay right now. We just want to stay small, you know, volunteer comedy type. You know, type show, uh, social, a uh, social type show, and that 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 kind of thing on Facebook Live and Twitch on tw on Twitch, uh, live once I get it, uh, figured out. But uh, yeah, so I hope we don't ever go as big as those other guys. I mean, I wouldn't be. I I tell you, I I I definitely one would have to. You'd actually have to move right into a full into a full size studio, and uh, and that kind of thing, or rent a full size stadium. And that kind of thing, uh, gym or uh, high school gym, just 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 to con just to 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 run those shows, um, which is gonna be quite expensive. To run. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so again, uh, Yeah, so again, I got an early morning tomorrow, and uh, so after, uh, so also too, I got papers to do tomorrow, and um, hopefully pretty soon I can slide out of the paper routes. Um, again, I'm gonna again because uh, I get too busy with others uh, with other groups and that kind of stuff too. It's uh, it's tiring me out. <laughs> so the, all the heavy walking with the paper route is tiring me out big time. Uh, alone. Um, because it is a, one, my one route is a quite hike out. I gotta walk all the way out to the airport just to deliver newspapers, and that's a pain in the butt. Um, so again, like, I have to, I go all, I kind of start down here, you know, start over by the library on Claude, and I gotta go all the way out Frank, and all the way out to the airport, little subdivision out to the airport, and, man, I tell you, man, it's a big hike back. And uh, like I said, it's it's a crazy walk, uh, especially in the hot heat. And uh, so again, it is uh, like I said, it is it's wearing me out. And then plus also two on top of that, I'm starting to get busy more so, uh, more active with uh, rotary more so than anything. 
Uh, so, so again, it is. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff that's that's been coming up. Like Amazing Race comes up uh, every summer. Uh, I think that's already passed. I think I missed that. Uh, but again, next summer that will be back, and next spring there'll be Maple Magic. So I'm gonna be really busy with that. I can't be tied down with newspapers. Uh, so, so again, it is uh, M plus two because now I'm also friends with Rotary. Uh, I, I got again. I'm gonna be getting out more and volunteering at those things. Uh, so, so again, uh, helping getting those those going. So keeping keeping those, uh, you know. Going out and volunteering at that, and then of course we had the Rotary Civic Holiday Weekend Fair every summer. So um, hopefully this year, because I don't have the newspapers, I'll actually be able to get up for the prediction morning. I'll go down and see really predict to, predict the weather, February second. Uh, since now Optimus does not have the fancy tea, um, they got a one-time deal event that I that I that I told him I'm not helping out at because I'm at the Rotary Fair and I have to be at the Rotary Fair because I'm already committed to that. Um, but they're doing a kids fishing derby on the same day as the fair, which which I don't know why they couldn't schedule that another day. Um, or another weekend and they always have to do crap on the same weekend as the fair. Um, I don't know why it's uh, it is craziness. Um, because they, they, they do, they take all our kids uh, for a whole hour and a half. Uh, all the kids normally can't come to the fair will be all at the fishing derby. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, they won't, the kids won't come piling in the fair until 4 o'clock. Uh, but that's okay. And it will give us the, it will give us the, the, the relaxed uh, rest time too. Uh, at the fair as well, so uh, so again, cause we, again, cause it's uh, on a Saturday, August the fourth. It is uh, it is opens twelve to eleven at night, anyways. So again, we 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 good. It's good because then it gives us time to go live because it won't be as packed. Like Sunday will be. The of the fifth will definitely be packed because it is uh, August the fifth is is a bit one of the busiest days, more so. Uh, because it is the kids' family bracelet day, and uh, kids' own day, and kids' fun day, uh, fun day, uh, what you call it, kids, uh, fun, fun, a uh, fun, a uh, Sunday fun day market, farmers market. So again, it is so the fair. So again, the fair is cutting. So again, uh, the fun day thing is cutting into an to an event, uh, like it did Canada Day. So they kind of had to put it together. Um, so so again it is uh, so the so the kids zone is gonna be different like it w would have been last year, uh, more probably more busier. Uh, so again with more clowns or whatever and I forget the guy's name from Walkerton but the guy, the band Dicky Bird the guy that does the band I hate that name I don't know why he doesn't change the name like, I mean like like when I was a kid we never we never never heard of bands called that we had a clown band, uh, when we were a kid uh, again uh, I forget what the name of it was. again the college students between college students the Shriners used to travel they were young people and they dressed up as clowns and they actually were musicians and they're actual clown bands, um, we always loved them. Um, I mean, they were they, they would that they had a nicer name than Dicky Bird. I mean, we never we never had those kind of kind of perverted names for a band when we were kids. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where these old timers kind of uh, the mind or either 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 they're getting old or senile or their minds in the gutter twenty four seven. One of the two. Uh, <laughs> um, I just don't. I mean, the guy's a good entertainer, yes, but I don't like what he calls his band. I just, I just don't. Uh, it just doesn't sit right with me for some reason. It doesn't, doesn't, especially if he's a ch children's entertainer. I don't think it's a pro really appropriate name uh, to be known by. Uh, but that's what he's known by. Uh, that's what his group is known by. Um, but like 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 I said, there was a like the, there was there was a guy I grew up with and uh, Hank and Honkers. But at least that was a better name when we were kids. Uh, Hank Fisher had his band uh, was was a better better name suit for you know for for a kid's child band and anything. Um, you know when we were growing up and uh, he had he had a band called Hank. He still has a band that's called Hank and Honkers, and he travels. Uh, he was really, he was really, really good children musician. Like he plays the washboard and he rips all his kitchen sinks apart. He makes instruments out of them. 
And uh, he don't go to the man, instrument store and buy a set of bagpipes or drums or whatever. No, he rips apart. He rips apart his washing machine. He rips apart his kitchen sink, his old kitchen sinks, everything. Um, you know, microwaves, stoves. He makes instruments out of all of it. <laughs> he does. He does sterilizes and scrubs it all up, and he actually makes instruments out of them. Uh, so he recycles all the old used household appliances. And uh, that's what his band's instruments are made up of. Um, he's They're really talented. They're really comical. Have you ever seen them? And, of course, he's got a coal miner helmet with a bank bell on it. And uh, that it probably explains why the banks don't have the Japanese button bells anymore. Um, the ding for service. I remember that when I was a kid. I used to play with those things. I always love playing with those things. Every time they put them out on the counter to get, get the bank teller's attention, you go, ding, 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 ding. And the tellers get ticked off at you. Because <laughs> uh, they're getting annoying. They don't have them now today, this generation. I don't know any bank that still has those things or stores that still has those things to get their attention. I don't think they don't. I don't think they got, finally got rid of them because they were getting annoying because everybody was was kind of dinging the heck out of them. <laughs> um, even the hotels don't have them anymore. I thought that was I thought that was always funny because I was always always the instigator that you used to keep dinging those things to get to annoy them on purpose uh, to make them work. Um, they got to a point they got smart they they stopped responding to them. Uh, so so again they <laughs> they started ignoring them. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, that is that is quite funny there. Um, I remember when I was a kid. I remember, remember growing up with Fred Panner and. Rafi and all them guys like those are better band names than they have today for kids. Uh, you know, I think I think uh, or there was a there was a Carlton show band, there was a clown band, there was we used to travel. There was a band called Cats, uh, Angelical Cats. I remember that. Uh, that was a better name. I, I used to have all the tapes for that. Uh, it was like a Broadway opera, but. But it was at a children's level. It was, you know, it was, it was kind of cute band. I I seen them alive a couple times. Um, you know, I remember, remember growing up in Peterborough as a kid when I was a little guy, and they were they they, they came to Peterborough all the time. And they were really entertaining. Uh, they were musicians, and they actually dressed up as cats in cat costumes, makeup, everything, and uh, it was like one big Broadway show that traveled. Um, that explains probably why I ended up getting a black cat. <laughs> uh, uh, but again, that, that again, that's a bit of a sense of humor. Um, but again, we always like we always like that kind of stuff. I thought I thought that was all always uh, always kind of kind of kind of interesting, kind of quite interesting entertainment when we were kids. Uh, they had better names and that, and they were totally and the clown bands were right out of the Shiner circus everything. Um, so they were all linked. To 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 all 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 the campaigns at the kids' hospitals and that kind of stuff for the Shiners hospitals and everything else like that. All these clown bands uh, used to, used to travel. They're on YouTube now, uh, putting all the old stuff on YouTube. They're probably all about probably now. I say they were all young people when I was kids. Like they were like my age. I am now, um, but. Um, but no, they'd be older now. Um, back when I was a little kid, they were in their twenties and thirties. These guys, uh, clown bands. So now they're probably be middle aged or seniors by now, uh, if some of them are still around. Um, so so again, like like again, they 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 used to be really really cool. Uh, again, I used to I used to have a tape of theirs too. Uh, and that when I was a kid, I, I again I lost the tape a long time ago. And uh, so, so again, like I said, that is, that is quite interesting. So it had like a lot of kids' music to it, and I thought it was kind of cute. Um, but yeah, so so again, like I said, that is uh, that was a lot of cool bands in my childhood. We used to have, uh, of course, then also too growing up as a teenager, I did mime acting and that kind of stuff, and uh, I always had fun with it. We traveled. We traveled to Toronto, we traveled to Montreal, Quebec, we traveled all over the place. Um, before they started the passport system at uh, the border, uh, we used to travel on parental consent. Um, because we were under 18 at the time, so again, we had to have, we had to have legal guardian consent to go across. But, 
uh, like I said, we, 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 our mind group when we were teenagers, we want to, we want to, that was before they started the passport system at the border. Uh, we used, used to go to, we used to go all over the place. So, I mean, it is, uh, quite cool. Um, so again, it kind of, kind of, we were invited to different places. I remember that as a teenager. Um, now, this generation, the fair now actually uh, hires volunteers now from uh, the Wyerton area. The Rotary has the Interact uh, Rotary Group in Owen Sound, uh, has their own mime team now that does, does the Children's Fun Day uh, and that kind of thing, or Kids Zone. So that is quite cool. Uh, and that so they come all the way in from Owen Sound now, or they or sometimes they get them, or they get them probably from Tobermory, from the Fellowship Church in Tobermory, or from um, Rockcliffe Pentecostal Vineyard in Owen Sound, and I uh, and it's the first. I went there to a youth night. Uh, I was helping out with a youth night, and I uh, got invited there one night. There what was it a couple. When I after moved out here to to uh, and that kind of thing I, to insist in leadership or whatever for a bit, and uh, they had like a like a gas night out there and uh, first Pentecostal Vineyard Church I've ever seen sitting on a rock cliff hill, and uh, and and smack in the middle of a cemetery. <laughs> uh, usually, usually you don't see that with a Pentecostal church uh, sitting in the middle of a cemetery. Usually it's usually Methodist or a Presbyterian or some or Protestant type church, small little Protestant church or whatever sitting in the middle of the cemetery or Mormon church sitting in the military or Baptist, another Baptist or something like that. But Pentecostal vineyard, I you never or a fellowship church, you never ever see sitting smack in the middle of a in the middle of a cemetery. Like I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen a church, seen a Pentecostal church sit in the middle of a cemetery. <laughs> uh, but. Um, but I guess it's it's different generation. Um, in my my day and age, uh, you know, growing up, uh, you you know, in like little Baptist churches or little little like uh, what you call little Gothic cathedrals, and there, probably little Methodist Presbyterians uh, in the middle of usually would be built in the middle of a cemetery, or uh, Amish little Amish churches or whatever. Presbyterian church, but not a Pentecostal church. Like, this is the first time I've ever seen a Pentecostal vineyard church in the middle of a building, in the middle of a cemetery. I mean, technically, uh, ta technically, it's one of those churches where if, if they do a funeral, they do the funeral at the church, and then they go dump the body in the ground. <laughs> they don't got far to go. And so they save on the funeral, funeral burial bell. Because <laughs> they don't have that far to go. Uh, they just got to go down the hill and into the cemetery. Uh, so, so again, like I said, it's... Uh, so so it's not they don't have that far to go uh anybody that any anybody that is uh, that is being uh, that any any deceased family member that is actually being being put in that cemetery that belongs to that church or whatever or uh is 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 asking for service from that church basically they do, that that is a cheaper way to go than anything uh because because the church is right there and then the church is right in the middle of the cemetery anyways so they don't have far to go they only have like 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 one of like a two second drive down the hill and poof they're they're, they're in the cemetery the hirsch doesn't have to go that far <laughs> um so there so again there is uh so so it saves time on the funeral procession <laughs> so um so again, like I said, that is I shouldn't joke that way, but I I just I just just looking at it, it's kind of comical in a way because because like I said, it is the first time I've ever it is the first time I've ever seen you know I I I went from myself I went from a Baptist church as a kid going to a Pentecostal vineyard myself, but I've never even grown up in a big city. I've never ever ever seen a Pentecostal vineyard church in the middle of a cemetery. Uh, this is the first uh, when I when I came to Owen Sound. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Uh, I think it's quite funny than anything, uh, but but I guess it's whoever they bought the building off of. Uh, I guess at one time it was not always a Pentecostal church. I guess it was an actual it was an actual Amish church at one time, Mennonite church at one point, and uh, Amish built or whatever big building. 
I'll tell you, for an Amish community church, it used to for it used to being an Amish uh, in Owen Sound. It used to be, I guess, it used to be an Amish Mennonite church community church. They probably built some other land somewhere else, and then they end up selling the property. Um, but but again, I guess the cemetery came with the with the building uh, as part of the property. So uh, so again, the church owns uh, the church owns the cemetery. It runs the cemetery, own, manages and owns the cemetery. So. Uh, that's that's what I said. It it is it is it is it, it's quite interesting, and uh, quite funny because uh, I guess they bought it off of an old. Uh, so it's 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 a Pentecostal. Uh, it's called Rock Cliff Pentecostal Country uh, Vineyard Church. So again, it is uh, it is it is smack right up the hill on on a, on, a, on a big high rock. And it's it's if you if you look on its property down the other end, it is sits on a big high cliff, and it's right up the top of the hill. It's right in the middle of the cemetery, and it is uh, it is all gated around too. So it is a big high it is a big high high fellowship Pentecostal church, um, Vineyard Fellowship Church like Selwyn is. So outreach is so again like I said it is it is. It is. It is. It, it, like I said, it is. It, it is a nice building. It's a big building. But I guess they bought it off of an Amish. Uh, um, it, it used to be. It used to be the Amish community, uh, country. It used to be. It used. used to be the country. Uh, it. It was first building was was built by the Amish people. But it's been. They've over the years. It's been renovated. But uh, again, I guess I guess guess the the vineyard people, the gospel people, bought it, bought the building from the Amish people, and the Amish people went and hand built somewhere else on one of their out near Katy, out near where their farms are, because uh, Owen Sound at one point used to be all Amish territory and that kind of thing at one point, uh, all Amish land before I guess before it was according to history of it anyways, and uh, so so again when everything was was a re, re kind of kind of restructuring so the Amish people moved out uh further out when uh, the city started becoming a big city the city started building around them and that kind of thing so they went further out near Katy to more country land um so so they wanted uh, went more out towards farmland area and started building so again like over time time changed around them so much i guess and uh so so again uh, a lot of the, the groups they they i guess the mennonite or amish groups they don't believe in type our technology and that kind of stuff uh so you never see them on so no you would never see them on facebook <laughs> so don't try looking up amish or mennonite on facebook again i can't find them you may find a younger generation of it or the new order they call it of it uh, but again, other than that, you won't find them in a telephone book. You won't find them on Facebook <laughs> or Twitch <laughs> or Twitter. Um, again, it, it is, is they're very, uh, anti, still today, old pioneer fashion people. Um, they love the old ways. They don't like change. Uh, I can't say I really blame them because, again, they live better and healthier and longer than we do. Um, you know, that's, that's, I have to give them credit for that. Um, because they're always outside, they're hardworking people, they're outside 24 hours a day, so they're always getting the fresh air, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. So they live, they live way better healthy lives than we do. Um, you know, they, they do all their baking and everything else like that. And they, they do, still do everything the old ways. Still horse and buggies and that. I still see them now. The odd time in the summertime, I still see them come all through through Wyerton. Sometimes, sometimes if they're passing through, they they'll they'll come through Wyerton or they'll come through Owen Sound, um, and that kind of, kind of stuff. The horse and buggy through, and uh, they come through Tobermory and that kind of thing. So they go all over with their horse and buggies. They go for miles. They go to Kitchener, uh, to where their main farmland is, and. Uh, and that so, so again, like I said, said that we we still see some of them around. Um, they're, they're they're superstitious type people, which is okay because they're just uh, they're they're just uh, trying to figure us bad examples out because <laughs> uh, they get offended because they see us driving cars or whatever else like that playing Nintendo. Uh, those guys, those kids, don't get the luxury of that.
uh, they're raised, raised the way the grandfathers were raised, the old way, and uh, and that. So so again, they're well educated, and that kind of kind of stuff. And uh, so technically, uh, we were always, I guess, we were always the bad example to them, um, because we because we built cities around them and and that kind of thing over the generations as the generations changed and technology came in and everything else like that and we brought the technology here and we kind of kind of kind of, uh, kind of started building around them and things st we started changing things around them and everything else like that and, and that so so again we were technically a bad example <laughs> in generally um, in in our time and decade and generation, because every time the generations changed, and uh, that we went from a time of no technology to time of technology, and as technology gets stronger, it keeps getting stronger and it keeps changing around them and that that, that kind of thing. There are type of people you'll never ever see them with computers. You'll never see them with uh, even they they still run their old school houses, everything, you know, build their own old school houses on their farmland, everything. So they built their own little villages. So. I mean, it is. They're cute little villages too. They're actually nice communities and that nicer community than ours. Ours is too corrupted. <laughs> everybody's all in our community, here. You know, with technology, everybody's fighting over computers. Everybody's fighting. Uh, people driving cars. Everybody's swearing at the other drivers. <laughs> but if, 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 you know, it's funny because um, I had to laugh one time. Uh, what was it? I was. Uh, Oh, what was it? We were going through. We were going through. Where was it? Where was it? We were going to Owen Sound one time, and uh, and uh, I forget who it was. We were. Oh, it was with my father. Um, we. I went in this before I met, met my wife here when I lived here before in two thousand and four, uh, and then we moved away from here and came back out this way, and uh, I moved back to Peterborough where I grew up and that kind of thing. And then uh, two thousand eleven after after two thousand six I got married and. and went to Cambridge Guelph then 2011 Fran and I went to Peterborough and then we came back this way but that yeah back 2004 before I met my wife um I was living with my dad yeah we were driving through a one sound man don't drive with him I'll tell you he's a bitch <laughs> uh we're pulling up uh we're, we're pull he's pulling up the intersection and there's an Amish buggy horse and buggy cart right next to us and uh, these people don't, again, like I said, I pay in a swear jar and, uh, you know, and, um, you know, these, these people are, are, are a very good example to society. They're quiet people. I keep, they, they love keeping to themselves a lot, a lot. They don't associate with a lot of people. And, uh, you know, they're very true to their beliefs. They're very strict in their beliefs. And they, and some dude drives up in a, <laughs> in a Ford pickup next to them. Or a van. G he had a GMC van there. Uh, that was before he had the pickup. And, uh, cause there's, there's, there's an arrogant tourist in front of us. And, uh, he rolls, rolls down the window. And we got a tourist in front of us, an Owen Sound. And, uh, of course it's Owen Sound. Everybody hates Owen Sound, going into Owen Sound. And maybe there's an Amish buggy cart next to us with an Amish family there. And uh, he's he's got the windows down, and and he's he, he's he's swearing and cursing at the driver and the tourist in front of us, calling him every dirty name in the book, <laughs> swearing and cursing. There's an Amish guy right next to us, and I'm I'm like shh shh shh, and he's what what what? I says there's an Amish family next to us. You 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 know they they're gonna get offended because you're swearing. He says I don't give a shit. <laughs> he's just he's just one of these assholes going out of drive. Uh he's having two busy curses and swearing down the other drivers in front of us. Oh, oh my god, I my dad, shut up. <laughs> uh, and we get dirty looks from the Amish people. Uh I mean literally they will stop and stare. Uh <laughs> that's what I said. Uh that that's that that's why I said we, we, as people with technology, we're totally we can we're totally bad examples to these people. Uh, that's that that's why I said my dad is the worst for that. Um, but and my stepmother kept telling him like, do you mind? I uh, you know you're drawing attention, and he says I'm not. He's what attention am I drawing? He says she says you're drawing religious attention for one, <laughs> and. Uh, 
just because they wouldn't, you know, it's funny. They 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 sat there and stared at us, stared at us, and then they laughed. They 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 they're like um, they live by example, so they watch what we do, and they they um, like I like 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 I said, they can either they can either uh, learn from us. Or we could be a bad example to them. Uh, like I said, it is. It, it is. We could be either way. Um, you know, definitely, you're being a bad example to them if they if they're actually drawing. Or, or it depends on how they stare at you. Uh, they don't mean to stare at you, but they they they, they, they just can't figure us out uh, because uh, we're we're twenty hundred years advanced in technology, and they're still twenty hundred years behind time. Um, because they choose to live their life that way, um, but which is okay too. But again, like I said, it is because um, because they try to learn our ways and stuff. So you know, so the younger generation coming up, uh, you know, if, if if they have their new orders of, you know, service or whatever, want to coming into our our time and technology. They, uh, you know, they 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 they, they kind of. Uh, they get, they can get very offended very easily, uh, so they kind of watch. Basically, they they actually always watching us. So, uh, like I said, Amish families will always watch you to see how you are in the public, uh, and that kind of stuff. So I mean, it is it, like I said to my dad. I said, said especially if you're driving and that 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 kind of thing. You gotta bite your tongue when you're parking beside an Amish wagon because they they'll they'll uh, they'll get offended very easily. Um, but but again he again sometimes he forgets they're there but he knows that they come through and they're, they're there, and I mean and the guy used to be a seven uh, that's why I said my dad used to be a Seventh Day Adventist minister, I mean Reverend I mean like like I said like I mean I'm like duh you should know better, uh, <laughs> uh so I mean um so so again like 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 I said or deacon or whatever Reverend and deacon that's. That's what I was when I was, uh, again, like I said, we were a little tiny kid lived in Blackville. He was a Seventh-day Adventist deacon and minister. So I technically, like I said, he's, he should know better. But I, I, in my long run, I'm sitting in the back of the car and I'm laughing my arse off. What about it? Um, but <laughs> I, 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 there's just usually not a lot you can say about that. Um, but yeah, so I mean, he's a character. He's a, he's up in his age, but he's a character, and it's behind the, when he's out and around. And uh, he may that's why I said it. He used to, used used to make me laugh, but um, but yeah, so I mean, but he can be like I said, he can actually there's times he he can be embarrassing. Um, but that's that's why I said when Fran and I moved back here, we were smart enough. We didn't rent a rent because uh, he was gonna turn the he was gonna turn his uh, basement rack room into an apartment for us, and we pay rent, uh, and that for the for the for the basement apartment. Oh, Samba Falls! But I'm so glad <laughs> we did. We chose not to live with him, um, because he again, especially especially driving like especially if Fran and I had to go anywhere, he's driving us into Owen Sound, which you wouldn't mind that kind of thing I, I told my wife I said, don't ride with him I said because I said he's worse than your mother <laughs> I said he's gotta be the worst um, like I said it, it is it is like like he's technically he's 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 technically crazy um he don't like nobody uh, in front of him if they slow him down and everything else like that. But like I said, I'm doing that in jokingly. I'm not doing it in um, in, in a what you call in a in a in a talking crappy way. I, I'm laughing, so I'm doing it in a joking way. Uh, so sense sense of humor, so that nobody gets offended on that one. Um, so so again, I, I just I just I'm just putting it in a very what you call what you call. Um, in a, in a positive laughing way, gonna laugh at that one. Um, that's why I said I will not ride with him. I tell you, even like even if I had my driver's license, I I would definitely not be like him. I tell you, that is just crazy. Uh, but I guess because tour season, Owen Sound here gets so busy. 
Uh, like I said, I've been wired to moan from wired to moan sound. Like I said, Owen sound has got to be one of the most, most big. Uh, don't get me started on when he gets on the Chi-Chi one. I tell you, I'm going to have the drivers in front of him. Don't hurry up in the line. Uh, he's rushing the line up. I'm like, like, die, like, cool it. Uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I said, you're going to be kicked off the ferry. <laughs> he's like, I haven't been kicked off the ferry as of yet. I said, yeah, well, I said, I said, I said make sure the, um, the, the Chi Chi Man staff, car staff, uh, boarding, or the, 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 the actual port, board, boarding port staff that load your cars. Don't hear ya. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, that, that's, that's, that, that's especially like, like, especially when he's going over to Man Lewin Island, man, I tell you. I've, I've, uh, you know, that is, that is that is one place yet yeah, I gotta see. I've never seen that yet ever since I lived here. Um, I've seen it on the Facebook, but uh, no, him and my stepmother, especially if they're going that way, I I, I know it is comical because my younger my my two younger stepsisters and my stepbrother came back and used to tell me how he, when they went over to Manloo and Island with them how bad he is getting on the ferry. Um, <laughs> um, so so again like he's he's technically he's a clown um what he wants to be but yeah so so again like I, like like i said it's um but yeah we 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 didn't think he was gonna be that be that be that uh loony here but he was he's twice as bad in brockville uh, and yeah, mainly Brockville, smaller city than Nolan Sound. Like I mean, Brockville it is basically the same size, same population. But he was twice as bad in Brockville, <laughs> going from Brockville to Kingston and Ottawa. Um, but yeah, so I mean, uh, yeah, like I said, he's a cool guy, but he never changes. He'll never change. Uh, he never changes. Like I said, leopards don't like changing their spots. You just paint over them, <laughs> so you don't see them. Um, I, I do that in a joking way, and again, since since my way, so so again, it is not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not putting the guy down. I'm just cracking a joke about it, um, because I know what he's like. Um, but yeah, so so again, like like I wanted to do some of those 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 those, those updates and that kind of stuff. <sighs> I was tired out and uh, a little bit, and but. Sit back, just having a few, few, just a few Pepsis. No, it's just Pepsi. Uh, again, it's uh, early day tomorrow, and um, yeah, not, uh, so the end of the month is a big finale because the end of the month, uh, usually, usually at the end of each month. Well, not this month because I get to save money for the carnival. But next month, uh, for my thirtieth, eighth birthday, what you call broadcast uh, on here. I think I'm gonna buy it. Go to the liquor store, buy supplies. No, just kidding. Um, but again, like I said, I camouflage it. So um, that that is uh, I have my ways camouflaging it. So again, you don't you don't get the beer bottle on here. You don't get the beer can on here. So it, it's totally camouflaged. So it looks like you're just drinking a uh, just just drinking a regular glass of pop. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, so anyhow, I was just just checking out some of these other uh, other live streamers. See if I don't think I'm gonna be uh, be up late, and I don't think I'm gonna actually be up for MFers live. Uh, oh man, here we go. I'm getting all the dirty comments. Well, not dirty comments. I'm getting all the bad feedback now because I, I again I put the rotary fair higher up than Optimist. <laughs> They're pissed. <laughs> uh, but I can't help that because, like I said, I'm always I'm always I'm always committed to the fair every year, and they know better not to put an event on the same time as the rotary fair. Uh, but uh, I guess this is a special event, so with them, so uh, so again, like I said, we're gonna lose half of our kids at the fair, but that is okay for a couple hours. So again, like I said, it is because uh, again, we'll all, do all be running out to the fishing derby. Uh, so again, that's what I said at the fair uh, when I'm running the game tent. That gives us time to sit back, relax, go live on Facebook Live and that kind kind of stuff, and give you that hour because uh, we won't be as busy. Uh, at the Rotary Village Fair, we'll be actually it'll be our downtime. 
uh, because I am not helping out at the at, at the uh, fishing derby this this year. I can't because I'm I'm too committed for the, with the Rotary Fair, and I'm I'm also the assistant manager of the birthday birthday game booth. So uh, again, I've got a lot ahead of work ahead of me, and uh, that 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 kind of stuff. So. Again, I put in a lot of volunteer hours there and that kind of stuff at the fair. So make sure the fair is going and up and running. And uh, so, again, I'm up, of course, too, also changing garbage bags all night long. Uh, until, I, even after the fair closes till like, 3 in the morning. And I don't get home till 3 in the morning. And then I got to go. Then I get a little bit of hours sleep uh, before the fair opens at, 11 at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we gotta be we gotta be we gotta go down there to to get everything all set up. Uh, sometimes I get up early. I go down early in the morning to help the guy with the, from the Lions Club load up the truck with garbage bags, uh, or clean or let or pick up any litter on the ground uh, that might have uh, might have might have might have got got put there during the middle of the midnight hours because the colonies love to litter. <laughs> colonies love to litter. Uh, that is a big issue. After everything's all the grounds are cleaned up for the night, everything else like that, uh, guarantee the colonies are always littering. <laughs> Never fails. Uh, after I clean up the garbage bags and get them fresh for the next day to full again the next morning, they gotta change them again. Uh, but that is okay, but that's colonies for you. Um, but again, like I said, that's, uh, uh, ooh, hey, Alan, how you doing? And, um, uh, but yeah, so, so again, I'm kind of in a joker mood tonight for some reason, or, or comedy mood for some reason tonight, but, uh, yeah, so, um, so, so again, like I, like, like, like I said, I'm really busy with the fair coming up set up and all that and uh running the birthday booth because i'm friends with rotary i get to assist uh helping and running assistant management at the booth so that that's kind of good and then uh for the kids day there's there's a big change there has to there, there's a changeover from the afternoon uh prizes to the kids uh, to, uh, to the to the night prizes so again there's 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 the, the there's the flat closed down conversion over and uh, so, so again, they're, 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 they're two different, um, two different prize giveaways uh, on when when you buy the tokens to play on the birthday game. And uh, so again, during during the day, during the day is like stuff your own teddy bear prize thing if you win. Um, stuff a bear Sunday, and uh, then then at night uh, everything changes over. To, to regular birthday game and then we have this thing too we get you can play on the line as well uh, so the only time we do that is when Bob birthday Bob is on and uh, and that so again uh, we we do get a bunch of cool good volunteers but there's certain times too we have the dead time because uh, there's certain times we don't have a lot of volunteers so there's only like one or two people on the game so again again we have that relaxed time and now it looks like Saturday this year is again is going to be the we're going to get that relaxed time uh it looks like like we're going to get the dead hour especially on the saturday mostly uh between one and four uh because again uh again because all the kiddies are going to be out at the sportsman club fishing <laughs> uh then at four o'clock they'll probably run in, into play uh, into the into the fair so uh we'll pick up at four o'clock so between between the, the the relaxed downtime at the fair when we get to relax and we get our break we will go live um uh again like i said said i'll have my easy chair or my full of easy chair there too and everything so so again we'll try to go as live as we can uh, again, if we have enough people to cover all three boards and a microphone, uh, then I can slip on live and uh, and actually go live at the fair for you as well. So, so again, uh, so, so that way you can actually see the birthday game being playing in action. And uh, so, so again, so that that there is is gonna be kind of kind of cool. Um, so, so again, uh, I will be in my, also too, that weekend, all weekend long, I'm in my Rotary Blues. Rotary Blues! <laughs> um, that is so funny. I seen a video, what was it, somebody posted a video of, uh, 
Elvis making a comeback. <laughs> I know the original Elvis uh, died in 1977. And uh, and I kind of think of a drug overdose. And uh, nowadays you got all impersonators. They actually actually grow their hair like um they they the fans you know club or whatever, and they dye their hair black and they can sing like this guy here can I really really hold the voice? And I put a joke across and I and I was teasing, and I commented that and I'm like I'm like okay I'm like. Uh, I'm like, okay, who's playing with a Ouija board here? <laughs> I brought back the king of rock and roll. Um, <laughs> somebody did something stupid. No, just kidding. Uh, again, I put that down as a joke. Not to offend anybody, I just put that down as, as a bit of a... Because uh, I put LOL beside it, so they know I'm just joking. Uh, and and so, so I was cracking a joke. Um... With a very good sense of humor, and uh, and that's so so again, like I said, that is uh, so so that that was kind of one of my jokes of the day, and I kind of, and I shared that video too because I liked that I I always liked that was always thought for my age I should you know usually he's he's a little like senior up like like more for the seniors than anything, but you know there's not too many young guys like ours, um, but I have to agree I grew up. As a kid, and my my parents were still like my mother was still playing Elvis tracks and everything else. As a kid, and I got addicted to it because I liked took a liking to it. Um, to him, um, but again, uh, again, she was one of those Elvis idiots. <laughs> they put a fan idiots. Uh, but yeah, so like I like I guy is pretty cool, but I look like again, like like he like again I had like I said, I, I didn't have any dislikes to the guy at all. I thought he was a cool singer. Everything else like that. He had a few problems, but you know, in his life, but who doesn't? Uh, you know, he had a he had an addiction that took him, but you know, Again, he he is he's he, he he's been he's he's done a lot for the big entertainment community, or whatever big Hollywood, Broadway, Las Vegas community, or whatever. Uh, you know, like old American war veteran and that kind of stuff too. Growing up his career in the army and ran his own karate school and everything, all the history behind him. So you know, like I said, it's uh, and that. That man knew how to. I tell you, the, the, just by his biography, that that man knew how to save his money. He knew how to hoard. <laughs> he definitely he was a rich bugger. He knew how to hoard. He, I think he. I think between him and Michael Jackson, I think those two. Um, I think I think those two are, are were bad for hoarding money, uh, <laughs> kind of thing, uh, because it was probably when they were kids they were stingy with their money, uh, so so whatever money they got or whatever little street jobs they did as they were kids they probably didn't spend their money on anything they probably it was too cheap to spend their money, and they probably hoard, hoarded their money all their life and got very rich and famous. And it led into a big career or whatever. Um, usually, that's how a lot of celebrity stars do that. Uh, they'll fool you. They'll they will start out as you know as as you know as being uh, what you call growing up um, in poverty and growing up in a poor family with nothing, and then all of a sudden you know they 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 they, they, they you know they 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 start you know talent starts showing or they start showing the signs of having singing talent or whatever and uh you know they end up going big and you know and that kind of thing and they start they, they started they go through life the addition all their life and that kind of stuff and they they start off small and they go big and then they end up in the big time movies they end up everything and they go big and they go too big and they get rich they get famous and they become a billion and millionaires and that kind of stuff and uh especially especially when especially if they're getting into like uh celebrities and like singing or whatever running their own into a, like a celebrity rock band or whatever and it grows into a, one big thing and they they, they become one big uh, media ho hollywood attraction and they get into making all the big time money and that kind of stuff uh you know so again they you know they 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 uh, 
they make something of themselves and that kind of thing. So, so again, uh, their their lifestyle changes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that is quite that is that is quite interesting. That is kind of how I understand it, just by watching these guys' biographies when they were alive and that kind of stuff. Uh, it is a shame that a lot of them, uh, a lot of them are no longer around. Um, you know, they were good, even though that they they had issues. They were very good singers, though. I'll tell you, they were either good movie stars or they were good singers. You know, they knew how to draw a crowd. Uh, you know, they, again, they 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 knew how to pull the people in, uh, and that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, their 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 torch flame is carried on from generation to generation. Um, so so it's kind of good to see that uh, you know that the, it's it, it's it, it's good to see that there is a there is actually fan groups that are are becoming what you call licensed impersonators and that impersonators and that kind of thing and uh, they're, they're carrying they're carrying the actual torch of it to another generation to and making it a big comeback and some of these guys yes I know some I've heard in the past I've heard even growing up as a kid I've heard a lot of impersonators and they didn't look nothing like like the real celebrity uh, again, they couldn't hold the voice, nothing. Uh, they couldn't sing with Alabies. <laughs> uh, they ended up getting into what you call rigging lip singing. Uh, and, uh, but all of a sudden now you, you, you start to see a big comeback in this generation. So again, for this generation, you're actually seeing guys now that can actually really hold the voice and uh, can actually really imitate the voice and actually, actually have the real hair do everything. Uh, grow their hair and everything because uh, starting to see that more so on Facebook. Uh, those are the ones now that are winning the, uh, the Collingwood Elvis festivals because uh, there is one every summer. I don't think it's come up yet. Um, I don't know if I don't, I've never heard when it was. When it, I don't think I've ever heard anything yet for the summer. Um, usually I think it's about all, late August or whatever, middle August. Um, the or sometime in the I think it's either the winter or is it the is it August? But anyways, Collingwood. Has the big Elvis Presley uh, impersonator um, festival, and uh, it is a big competition that everybody additions to uh, to train. They have classes, professional performing arts classes, and uh, they pay to get into these classes to become Elvis Presley. So, I mean, they 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 they're, they're judged on their singing, they're judged on their looks, uh, their stage appearance, everything. And it is they have ju professional judges there, like like you see on the X Factor, or a Canadian Idol, whatever, and uh, contractors and everything else, Hollywood contractors, every sh shit like that. <laughs> if you want to put it that way, uh, so way to put it that way. Again, I'm paying like almost fifty bucks to the swear drug, anyways, because <laughs> I slipped too much. Uh, but again, that that is that is. Um, but again, like I said, I find it funny. But uh, yeah, so so again, I I find that funny that uh, that is there's there's a big that big comeback, um, you know. So so again, a lot of them and a lot of them are, a lot of them are just coming off of out of karaoke bars, just little tiny karaoke bars and that uh, off of karaoke DJs, and uh, you'd be surprised and they're hooking up with bands like Midnight Blue Rodeo and that kind of stuff like like Dave Nixon's group or whatever. And uh, which is their practice grounds, and uh, then they do the real gigs for a while, and then they, then they go hung go big time, and um, and that. So so again, if if they win the spots or they win the um, positions, uh, again, like I said, they 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 they're doing well for themselves. They move. They can move on to Hollywood levels, if you want to call it that, uh, Hollywood. Um, Music film, uh, um, music videos, all that kind of stuff. Contractors, uh, album contractors, and uh, run away from the paparazzi. <laughs> Can't forget those clowns. Uh, they, 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 they all come with the Hollywood package deal. Uh, if you go big time, like I said, if you end up going to become a big time celebrity, you got that. That is a propaganda you got stuck dealing with. Uh, it is it, it it is stuff that you always live your life around. You're never gonna get away from it. Um, 
that is uh, like I said that is that is the type of world and society we live in today fortunately uh, like Michael Cross would tell you we don't choose it but there's no matter what there is always negativity around you uh, you can never avoid it uh, but your best usually your best best bet is is basically always all, always keep strong and uh, you know all, always always uh, try to try try to share and promote peace, love, and positivity if you can. I know it is hard for a lot of people to do that, but uh, especially if you live in a corrupted world and society today, um, you know. Again, it's uh, <laughs> um, that's 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 probably why I never I never made made it made made it after I took drama in high school and that and gone through Dream Players and Famous People's Players Theater. I didn't go up to the big. Uh, went back to school. I could have. I had the opportunity to go back back to school and become uh, go through for film and directing, and uh, you know that kind of thing. Like I always wanted to do, but I can't because now I, I'm tied down. I'm married, and my wife doesn't want to travel. So, uh, which which that kind of, kind of stuff would require traveling and living out of trailers and living a gypsy life. That I could I could have handled it when I was single, but. Can't, I wouldn't be able to handle that now because I've got luggage and packages that, or baggage I have to drag around. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, like I said, it, it would not be fair to her and that kind of thing. And me never being home, uh, I'm never home already at it as is with the carnival. At least it's only one time a year and weekend. Uh, at least I'm not running on a carny line. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, so so again, like I, like I said, a movie a movie industry would have been the same would be the same way, you know. If I was was to actually go back, get my G, get my uh, what you go, get my G two, uh, not my G two. Um, who was it? Uh, it's a equivalent to grade twelve. G E D. Sorry, um, and that kind 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 of stuff to get me in the doors and in, into that kind of course, and. Uh, and that, those kind of, kind of college courses, but I would have loved to become a big time movie star, but because uh, my heart be in it, but I, again, because I just love I love acting and that kind of stuff. But like I said, I'm happily married. But if I wasn't married, I'd probably take that kind of an opportunity. Um, but like I know that uh, if something ever happens to my wife, that opportunity will no longer be there because, and then I'll be too old. <laughs> Um, because I'm 37, going on 38 now. It's, I'm, almost, I'm almost a middle-aged guy. Uh, they want all young people, uh, or try to get get the younger younger people and that kind of stuff for that kind of a that kind of a career. But uh, like I said, that is that that would be uh, be too hard for me to travel and that kind of thing. going to going back to school and doing that and uh, you know taking the classes and that kind of thing, which you have to go go to Toronto for. Uh, to get into the film schools, and then you gotta graduate that. You gotta pay to take those courses for so many years. Then you gotta graduate that, and uh, then you then you have to go to. Um, and then you have to start auditioning for movies. So you have to go up. You have to go and stand before a professional. Um, uh, you gotta do a lot of book reading, and uh, you gotta convince convince the judges that you can do this you can actually memorize you again you actually have to memorize the scripts and that kind of stuff when they're making the movies or whatever and you have to do a sequel of so many movies and uh, what are those clowns doing on there um, so so again like I said uh, you have to do you you have to do so many series of movies and that kind of stuff I think so many you got to audition for so many and then every movie you do, you got to get audition for. So you got to get different movie companies to hire you, and uh, you technically got to sell yourself. And uh, so again, to get them to like, to, to get to get the actors to like, take a liking to you or whatever, and uh, and uh, and that kind of, kind of thing, and, and uh, prove to them that you can you you can handle that kind of a job career, and uh, and that kind of, kind of stuff too. So. There's a lot of red tape to it. A lot of people look at it and they they think it's easy. It is not easy. Um, you know, it is not. Um, you know, it is not an easy life life to get into. And then once you do get accepted in it, if you do fortunate enough to get accepted in it, there's a lot of other issues you deal with because you are gonna have you're gonna you're gonna end up creating your fan group, 
and on top of your fan group you're gonna have different styles of groups you're gonna have you gonna have people that are gonna love your movies you're gonna love your acting and you're gonna have people that are gonna hate you and then you're gonna have then you have paparazzi issues and that kind of thing and then you know that kind of stuff so like I said that 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 kind of lifestyle is rough lifestyle um, so you know it is it is one of the one of those lifestyles that uh, you know, like, 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 if you're going through as an adult actor, uh, you gotta go to college, you gotta go from film school. Unless you were a child that was raised in the industry. Uh, now, somebody like Noah Hathaway, who was a child and he was raised as a kid uh, in the movie industry because his parents were uh, were actual film actors and film directors themselves. And uh, so, so again, he was raised in the industry, so he's familiar with. He grew up in the industry, so it was his home industry. So technically, he is familiar on on the scripts and everything else. That's why he's never had a problem. Uh, I'm not saying he's never had problems, but he has had injury problems. Uh, I know by according to his biograph a biography, one of his biographies I was watching in uh, 1984 when he did the Never Ending Story. Uh, he I guess he fell off a couple times. He fell off the horse and pulled his back out at 12 years of age. And went under went under so many surgeries even today. Like he's forty seven, almost going on forty eight, and uh, went under so many back surgeries and that kind of stuff, and uh, and that kind kind of stuff. So he's had a lot of injuries, and there was a couple of times he was saying in one of his interviews where the trap door, like underneath where the the studio is, where the trap door, the swamp, the swamp sadness, where they had set the elevator uh, lift, where they put a hooked up an elevator lift un underneath the, to, to pull the horse down um, again his leg almost got caught under that elevator lift at 12 years of age and it almost pulled him under and killed him almost killed him um, he was lucky he said he luck he's lucky to be alive today uh, and that, 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 that kind of thing I guess the emergency crews got to him in time or whatever it, it was all in his biography and he went under so many surgeries and that kind of stuff for that as well uh, so again, they actually had to. There was a time, even when in the movie clip where they had actually had to uh, replace the actors, so the kids had to change. So again, they changed kid actors uh, temporarily. So if you notice, there's a quick f camera flash and that kind of, kind of stuff. If you watch, even watch the movies, I noticed that by just watching the movie. And that, uh, and I've been following his uh, his biography and that kind of thing on on face uh, on on YouTube. And I, I love watching his documentaries because uh, you learn a lot on how uh, on how behind the scenes and everything and all all the hard work they did and all the dangerous all the dangerous stunts the stunt kids had to do um, that a lot of the actors wouldn't do themselves. Um, well, the one that well with with the horse I guess threw him off or whatever and that kind of thing. So technically, he was he got injured in, in one of the, in one of the takes, but. Um, but I got uh, now he's 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 live well he's he's retired he's got a he's got a profession he I guess he teaches karate now or something like that, um, and that so so I get and that so now he's older and he's a tattoo artist so in Los Angeles somewhere California, but I just, again I was just I just 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 going by what I've been watching his biographies and that kind of thing, and reading on his biography and that kind of thing about him. And uh, and that kind kind of stuff. So I, I, that is that is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people think uh, like there's one guy here. He he thinks it's so easy to get into everything. Like that. And I'm like, nah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's not. It's not. It's 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 not. It's not. It's not as an easy industry to get into. Uh, very very few people are like they say very few people are chosen uh it's it's either if you can convince them you can do it or not um it is because you stand before professional movie movie directors movie judges uh, actually addition when you audition you stand before actual movie actors judges directors everybody um they're like a big whole quorum of of board of film directors that kind of stuff uh, so so they kind of kind 
kind of pick and choose who they want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, to see see if you see see if your if your additioning skills or acting skills, uh, if if they see see that your acting skills is is uh, acceptable to become an actor or not. Um, or what they're looking for because at certain times they're not looking for certain things uh so there's certain things it's like like if you guys ever watch american idol and uh whether you did people audition for american idol or the audition for canadian idol here and that kind of stuff when it comes on uh oh there's mfers um they uh they they look for pacific talent and uh, they're looking for pacific songs or whatever uh that gets you in the door so and it depends on and they judge on how it's sung, uh, uh, how it's performed, how your performances are, and that can, same thing with movie auditioning and that kind of stuff. Um, so so again, like I said, those guys are. I know I I, I learned all this even in high school drama classes, <laughs> um, and that kind kind of stuff because it was a time when I was in high school and we had a drama class and. Uh, when I was in high school, there was there was a movie being made in Peterborough, Ontario, and they all the directors, movie directors were in, and they were they were auditioning every one of us, our kids that were in that drama class, and that kind of thing, and they were they they were kind of picking on who they who who they they figured will fit the roles of the characters for certain for certain positions in the movies. So I mean, in that particular movie and that kind of stuff too. So. Um, so so again, like I said, it was a it was a horror movie that at the time was being filmed and that kind of stuff. I forget the name of it now. Um, it's out today. I don't. I can't remember what it was called, but it was filmed in Peterborough, Ontario. There, there, and that when I was in high school back in 90, 1995, about nineteen ninety five and ninety six seven around there. I was in Air Cadets, whatever. Uh, yeah, I was about Army Cadets, Air Cadets at the time, too. So, uh, I forget the name of it. I cannot remember the name of it. I have to backtrack so my high school buddies will remember it. Um, it was a horror movie anyways. Oh, yes, I remember what it was called. Rolling Cannibals. Uh, again, it, it is... It was some type of horror movie. I never ever seen it come on DVD yet or Blu-ray. I don't think it ever made DVD. It made the box office. It should have made the theaters then, but... Uh, it probably did went through the theaters. Uh, it probably did come out on DVD somewhere, but somewhere kind of got lo kind of kind of kind of got shuffled around the the movie deck. <laughs> um, so so again, it is uh, again. All I know, they said it was a low budget film. Um, but again, it, it was it was they said it was quite an inter interesting. It was a very freaky movie. Uh, it's probably in there amongst all those thousands of billion horror movies out there. Uh, so, so again, like I said, it is uh, again. It, it was a really, really freaky, really, really scary, freaky one of any kind. Um, but, but yeah. So, so again, like I, like like I said, there. Like I said, that that is that is the hard out of all the careers. That's one of the hardest careers to ever get. Said that in the military, uh, Canadian Armed Forces or, or the American Armed Forces, they're harder careers to get into. Um, they look, f like I said, they they look for certain things. They look for certain people uh, that they can choose for, a certain group of people that, that they will choose from. Um, like, like like I said, they have their they have their strict they do have their strict standards, but uh, there's there's certain things that will qualify you. Um, and there's certain things at certain times you're looking for, and then there's certain times you're not looking for anybody. So, uh, like, a, like, a, like, 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 like I said, it all depends on uh, exactly what at that particular time. If it's good timing, or if it's bad timing. If it's bad timing, you ain't getting anywhere. Uh, if it is good timing, uh, then and uh, and they pick you out, and you're one of the one of the chosen ones or whatever, and they 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 figure that you you've you've convinced them on what they're actually they see in you what they're looking for and uh the, exactly what they're looking for because uh, they look for certain things in people and uh and that kind of, kind of stuff so like i said it is a very it, it, it is a very very strict system <laughs> um i think it all i think all careers are uh personally i think i think they all are um 
Like I said, I only work one day a week in a dentist office. It's not a career. It is just a um, two-hour job, and all I do is clean the floors. And uh, then come home and, then, you know, get busy with volunteer work the rest of the week and that kind of stuff. Uh, and, uh... Uh, right now, it's time. Right now, I got newspapers to keep keep me busy and uh, and that kind of stuff too. So, like I said, that is that is that is quite quite wonderful. But uh, like I said, I, right now I get I get I'm getting uh, getting gotta save my energy because I'm getting busy with more so with rotary than anything now. Um, helping out. So so again, like I said, there's. Um, Village Fair coming up, and then of course Rotary's got more options for for events to help out at, like uh, like like the beginning of the summer they got the Amazing Race and that kind of stuff, and then they have some other type of race coming up on Fair Weekend on the fifth in the mo on in the morning. Uh, I forget what it's called, but they have another type of um, what you call it is falls on on the Fair Weekend, uh, which is Civic Holiday Weekend, which is August the fifth in the morning. There is another big. Uh, big big type of race that starts with the elk farm and fundraising race that uh is for some type of charity and uh all the people run run all the way from the elk farm all the way in down down to blue water past blue down to blue water park where the first farm is. and they actually run uh some are some are too lazy to run they walk or some are too fat to run <laughs> but it doesn't matter uh like i said it is uh <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that opinion to myself. I, I guess I guess I'll put an extra in the swear jar for that one. Um, but again, uh, but again, uh, some choose it, some bike it, some run it, some walk it. Uh, so uh, so again, it is they have it. They have everything kind of uh, kind of the, the running route boarded off. So in the morning and that kind of so so they run into town. It's some type of race thing and uh, some charity race thing that they have. And uh, which is on the Sunday morning of the fair, so um, which starts at the Oak Farm and comes into town. So, like I said, that that is uh, that 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 is quite interesting. I always love watching that too. Uh, I think that that is great to watch them come in and that kind of stuff, running and that kind of stuff too. Uh, so, so again, like I said, it it is quite interesting. Um, I do not haven't heard anything more about the new Harry Potter movie when that's coming out. Uh, that's all. I, I don't think that. I know it was in. It's supposed to be in theaters. Uh, I don't know if it's hit theaters yet or not, or if it's on its way out, or if it's already out. Uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Uh, and I, I thought of those movies. I think are held back for some reason. Uh, I know two thousand and twenty one is a new Indiana Jones movie that's supposed to be coming out. Uh, it was supposed to come out. I guess it was supposed to be supposed to come out this year, this year or next year. But they, they, they according to their network, web, uh, the network uh, Facebook page, uh, there was they said that they were holding it back until two thousand and twenty one, to the release date. So, um, so I don't know. I don't know if it's if, if who's all who all the actors or directors. Are, is going to be in it. Um, again, uh, so again, I'm following the uh, the the movie networks on Facebook. Uh, Goosebumps two is going to be out in uh, in theaters in October, in time for Halloween. <laughs> it's haunted Halloween thing theme. Uh, Goosebumps two haunted Halloween. So that is that is out in time for Halloween. So that'll be be in theaters then, and then I probably probably a year later it'll come out on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, so, so again, like I said, that is, that, that is quite, I'm keeping, I, uh, keeping, a, I'm kind of, kind of following that all on, um, excuse me, all on, uh, on their Facebook page. Um, sometimes, yes, it is fan, uh, it is usually fan made, but, uh, again, uh, I follow the actual network page, so the actual network page, it'll tell you if it's actual network or if it's fan made. Uh, the ad is actual network made, posted and made. So, uh, is posted by the actual network, so that's how I know it is actually, it is a real ad. So, um, which is which is posted by the actual network that's publishing the film. So, um, if it's fan made, it'll say underneath it, done by a fan. 
um, which is fan made. So, um, the they're they're kind of uh, easy to read, to, easy to read and figure out. Um, not too much, um, and that. So, and uh, just checking out some of my messages here. Uh, So anyhow, just checking out my messages on that one, and uh, okay, so that that fishing derby that the kids are rolled to um, is not ro the, the fishing derby is not rotary. That is Optimist. Uh, like I said, I'm not available to go with the Optimist on the fourth of August because I'm with Rotary doing the fair. So um, like I said, but it but it is a charity. Uh, the fishing derby is actually a charity this year thing so so again like I said we are gonna have that downtime uh, we're gonna have that of uh, between on the Saturday which is August the 4th 1 to 4 we're gonna have actually the dead time too at the fair so that gives us time to kind of uh, straighten up the game tent uh, go live <laughs> and take you live at the fair and uh, and that kind of thing and uh, birthday game assistant man on the birthday game uh, assistant manager this year helping out they had cap well captain they got a captain uh, so I guess I'm the co captain <laughs> um, assistant manager uh, assist for the game for the game booth um, so so again like I said that is. Um, so that that's just hanging up the, the the stuffies, the prizes for the kids to win and that kind of stuff when they come come play the birthday game. Um, the one guy that is usually there that 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 usually comes and helps out that actually got me hooked into it. Um, when I, again he's he's moved on, and uh, he's not going to be around this year. So um, I'm looking after everything and uh helping out to look after everything and that and uh so so again and helping out with the volunteers looking after the volunteers and that kind of stuff too and positioning them and that kind of stuff too so that'd be kind of, kind of cool because bob he's up in his age uh birthday bob he's up in his age he's uh he needs the he needs all the assistant and help he can get for me and that kind of stuff too and then the other volunteers uh, work in the game, work in the, the birthday game board, and that kind of stuff too. Um, so I, I'm not, and uh, the guy with the shelter box, uh, the rotary shelter, the the shelter tent box. Uh, I can't, I can't put out, I cannot figure out how he pronounces his last name, but he's a really nice guy, Rick. He comes in. Uh, he's gonna be there from Friday to Monday. And he's gonna have the shelter box, a rotary shelter box tents, uh, <coughs> set display set up. So he's gonna be there. He's gonna be there for the whole entire weekend from August third to the, to to the morning of the sixth. And uh, so then he has to take down on the morning of the sixth. So uh, so that way he so they've got a spot for for the radio station to set up and uh be sure broadcasting so uh like i said that is uh, that is uh i don't know don't know whatever happened to the to the tp canoe mar marathon people because uh, they usually have a display there um that come over that canoe over from manaloo and island 
Uh, so again, the uh, Man on the Moon Island Reservation comes over and uh, usually and sets up at the fair. Now, I don't know what happened to them last year. They were supposed to be there last year. And uh, again, they, they, they were going to come and they, they were going to come again this year to set up, but I guess they uh, backed out last minute uh, because they actually canoe across the bay and uh, they actually they actually canoe over from Man Lewin Island. So um, so so again they have their big canoe a thon or whatever and then they pull in up to the fairgrounds they put the teepee up and that kind of stuff too. And they have their their uh, display and that kind of kind of kind of thing too. So I guess we don't have them this year. Uh, again again they didn't make it they didn't show up last year either so they were supposed to show up last year. I don't think they were booked this year. Uh, they were booked last year because uh, they were coming through or whatever, but uh, they didn't. They didn't show up last year either. <laughs> um, so we're just just trying to figure out who's all, uh, which, oh, uh, which, which, to, and then of course to the rotary display is going to be set up there too this year as well. So there'll be pictures of different rotary clubs and that and what they're doing, projects they're doing, and that kind of stuff. That is that is that is that is, that is quite, quite good. So I'm in for a busy weekend. That busy weekend, and. Um, I think I'm gonna get myself probably gonna f see if I can get myself another Pepsi and that kind of stuff, and um, just wanted to do a do a check in and update and uh, and that and uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, this was your joke is on duty. Have a great day, guys. Bye.